All right, you ready for some N64 noises? Just the boot up song. All right, this is what we want. Here we go. I did used to like messing around Game Shark though and absolutely breaking games like this. Oh yeah, what was your favorite uh, game breaking tip and trick for that? Or what was your favorite thing to do? We can go ahead and watch the intro. Our little song and dance number. You game shark Pokemon back in the day it was like magic. How's the volume on this? Hey Ghost Galleon, welcome in. How's it going? I think it looks okay, if not a little loud. Anna, hi, welcome. How's your Monday treating you? A Game Shark Pokemon Diamond got a Manaphy egg and just mass produced Fionn to finish your national decks. Nice. Sounds good to you? Okay. Good to hear. Doing good so far, Ghost Galleon. Um, we're just diving in. I want to watch the music before we start. I forget, I think Banjo Tooie starts out with kind of a recap in this intro, intro scene. But for Kazooie, it's all just playing the banjo. Just drawing today? Nice. Monday's good. I woke up an hour or so ago. Ooh. Just getting started. Oh, there's that music. And the way it changes in different areas of each level. All right, I gotta change the mic again. There we go. I actually don't remember your favorite Game Shark cheat. GoldenEye was most fun to mess with. I used Game Shark and found unused, unused island in the first level. Huh. So you can see stuff that they never took out. They never bothered to take out of the game. Oh, let's look at our files here. Game one. 28 hours, game two, 36 hours, but this has 100 jigsaws. This has only 78. What's game three? 99 jigsaws and 24 hours. So I guess we delete this one because it's the least progress. I don't know which is which. I, there's no way to tell between games. 784 notes, 900 notes. That's a full game right there, 813. I think these two were like my brother's file and my file, so we'll just play game one. Weird, weird to be deleting these. Back for a bit, almost time to leave work. Okay, sounds good. Ace, hi Arrow. Gonna be lurking, got boring stuff to sort through. Okay, thank you for the lurk. I love that you have closed captioning. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, Ghost Galleon. I, I had to, um, I almost forgot to turn it on today, but we, haven't streamed without it in a really long time. It's treated us well. Arrow, how's your day going? Well, you're lurking, but it's good to see you. I hope your day's going good. Other than the boring stuff. How? Oh, Z to erase it? Okay. Here we go. Goodbye. Are you sure? Press A to confirm or B to cancel. Yeah. It's empty. So weird. I didn't really think about that until we started- I started setting up today and thought, oh man, I'm gonna have to delete a save file. From- because this is all my OG hardware and files that me and my brother played. Yeah, Anna's here. You feel that with deleting files? Oh. Oh no. Did you hear that? Speaking of original hardware, <laughs> full of glitches and all. Well, we might have to reboot. We're gonna blow on the cartridge. <laughs> all right, stand by. This is not the first time this has happened. No signal. All these did just uh, move across the country, so. Nothing looks crazy.
I feel like blowing on the cartridge of N64 games is just good luck at this point. The first time this happened. Okay, it's on. It has a great setup now. <laughs> I'm in a new space. I have plenty of room for all the consoles. I don't have anything on the floor. Let's see how this works. We might have to skip the intro cutscene. That might be like a weird spot. So many intros to press start for. All right. Wake up, Banjo, it's time to go. Let's see, okay, we just got past it. So I don't know if that part was messed up, but we went past it to the tutorial. Sorry, sorry friends. We could watch a YouTube of the intro if we really want to. Basically, uh, oh, we haven't learned any skills yet. Okay, we can't do anything. Uh, Banjo's sister gets kidnapped and she's in Gruntilda's tower. We need to go get her. Plenty of room to kick, okay. <laughs> no kicking. <laughs> no kicking. Every time, if we have other N64 errors, I'm just gonna have a little flashing meme that shows up that says no kicking the N64. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? Oh yeah, I just watched this intro, I think when Mel was playing it, and Banjo just sleeps through the whole kidnapping of his sister. Completely knocks out. Doesn't wake up at all. It's kind of unsettling. Hi Maggie, welcome in. How are you? It's really dangerous. You'll probably need some training before you go up there. Can you still speed up their speaking? Yeah. If you think you're already good enough. Uh, sure, we'll learn some things. We'd like some help. Bottles, what do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. All right, friend. What a good brother, yeah. I have no idea what's going on. Are we kicking the N64 again? No. I never kicked the N64, just to clarify for anybody new here. It's okay, we've all kicked him once or twice, no! <laughs> Sarcasm707, welcome in. How are you? Oh, that rumble pack startled me. Thanks, uh... Thanks for the follow, thanks for supporting a fellow human. Maggie, thank you for the host, I appreciate it. This game is almost older than half the people streaming on Twitch these days? Oh. Cordy, don't remind us. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome. I lurk. I might be in an online lecture right now. Oh, okay. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. It's okay to kick it once in a while. All right. We're not kicking it. Uh, let's see how we do with this controller. It feels a little bit mushy. Thanks, Bottles. What's going on? Anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. That's nothing special. Try this then. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Worm Breath? No, hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. Wow, it's working. What's this one? Twenty first century father, welcome in. Not me, played it when it came out. Yeah. It's a classic. We're revisiting today. This is not a blind playthrough. Um We contemplated doing a challenge run or something like that with this game. Since I've already played it, since it's not really any surprises, but I think we're just gonna have fun revisiting. The linear flow of time? Don't know her. <laughs> Some people hate the camera, others think it's really well done. It's important to learn to use it intuitively. I think... Are we stuck? My game is a little glitchy, it seems. Oh, it's- we're just practicing and it was holding us in place. I don't remember it doing that. 21st century father, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. 
Um, I don't remember if I loved or hated the camera. We'll find out shortly. Oh, is it still making us practice things? Sorry, I didn't read the text. Yep, making us practice. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Yep, it was locking us in place and I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I can make this. Nope, stand closer. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. <laughs> Anything on these that I need? Man, this is wild. I don't know when the last time I played Kazooie was. I think I've revisited Tui pretty recently. It was a better camera than Mario 64. I think so, right? Because you can do the thing where you tap R and you can put the camera behind you if you need to. But Mario didn't have that. The soundtrack slapped so good I got lost in a YouTube rabbit hole about the music theory of various songs, interviews with the composer. Yeah, the music is great. Um, it holds up pretty well, all things considered. Thank you for the host, 20th Century Father. Is there something shorter that I could call you or that you would like to be called? Holly, thank you for the host as well. Welcome in. Sounds difficult and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I wanna swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Uh, use the control stick to swim on the surface, to swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. All right, here's the dreaded swimming. Composer Kirkhope is a, is a bamf. <laughs> Mario 64 had that, but it didn't always work and sometimes made things worse, gotcha. Steve, okay, cool, thanks Steve. Let's jump in and see how I hold up. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs and the winged wonder can press B to use her wings. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. We'll be okay, we'll manage. I remember liking it in Tui, but maybe not in Kazooie. I like that you can zoom the camera closer or farther from you too. Oh yeah, have they taught us how to do that yet? No, but we figured it out. What do you have to say? Are you the swimming friend again? Yeah. Am I gonna remember where all these stations are to talk to bottles? I remember there's something up here. Is that just floating? Or is there an alcove? No, there's an alcove. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. You can hold R to turn sharply underwater. That works for flying too, but the game never informs you of this. You're right, I don't think I knew that. Something here is stiff compared to Tui. Camera has some bad spots in the game, yeah. Tui was all right. Is there anything underwater here? I don't think so. But then what we also experience in Tui is first person camera while swimming and flying and I can't, I can't do it anymore. It's too crazy, it's too wobbly. It makes me motion, not motion sick, but motion dizzy. <laughs> what do you have to tell us? We don't, we haven't seen the enemies pop up yet. Or is that only in Tui? Heading home, see you in a bit. Sounds good, Ace. Safe travels. Not flying. Not yet. Banjo, jump on a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. Oh, you're just teaching us to climb. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. Oh, that's it. Thanks. I guess the enemies show up in Tui. There's, what, radishes and things and cabbages? Very much appreciate what seems to be OG hardware. It is! Rumble Pack 2! <laughs> and this, the console is, uh, is sitting over here. I have a bunch of, bunch of my old cartridges still. Yeah, it is OG. This was the one my brother and I got for Christmas. 
I don't... I don't know if we got it in 96. I think we did. Maybe 97. Oh, I see something in there. I keep forgetting that I need to ask my parents if we got it the year it came out or if they ended up getting us getting it for us later. Alright, we're just gonna breathe. Oh, I think I remember this. Oh, I thought maybe there were only certain spots you could get, climb out of the water. Did we miss any? Have we learned how to to peck things yet? Or roll? No. I didn't do this in a very methodical manner. And carrots, yeah. Rumble pack hype. Mm -hmm. It startled me earlier because if you sit here and let the screen go idle, uh, Tui, not Tui, Kazooie will pop out of the backpack and peck you and it makes the rumble pack go. Got yours in 98 front. Emblem still unscratched. Nice. Tui takes up a notch, takes it up a notch and requires more player investment and patience than this game. But Tui has, there's the rumble pack. Tui has the cheat codes. If you mom shows up, you'll try to remember. Okay. I think she's, uh, I think she's still at work. We did this one. We definitely did this one. We did... This is our house over here, right? Alright, you know, Jen, focus. We need to learn how to fight. Oh, we didn't do this one. Okay, this is a good one. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Hold Z, then press B for a powerful, excuse me, a powerful beaky barge. Oh, oh, no, point this way. All right, that was good enough. See Banjo, she is useful for something, aw. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Got him. Do I get a prize if we kill them all? Yeah. We won all of those. The Tui cheat codes for fast walking speed is why I never play the Xbox version. It's so much better that way. Agreed. We're gonna go, we're gonna try to go around the circle here. We didn't do this. This is the fighting one, I think. Oh, is this where the carrots are? Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Wait, what? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. There's our carrot. I only play that version because the original frame rate is unacceptable for you. Me too when I play- oh yeah, that's right. Eric, you played it on Xbox and it was, uh... I don't know, what did you think of the walking pace? Too slow? Nice one, try another! Hey, I want some moves. Because if you start going fast, you'll, it'll make you roll. Try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. <laughs> Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find a ball for you to practice on. An onion! Oh. Oh, we don't take damage here because it's a tutorial. Bullseye! One more. Stop rolling, I feel sick. My only big qualm with Tui is that to 100% it, there's so much backtracking. Yeah. Because Tui, you have to, um... You'll learn moves in future worlds to come back to the world, or there's like tunnels between worlds a lot of times in that game. And then you have to go transform into different creatures and go to different worlds. Never thought too slow, but pretty loose. Pretty loose, eh? I missed it. Is this... Is this pecking? Yeah, we like this one. Come here, cauliflower thing. Okay. Not bad, feather face. Give me another bog eyes. 
Yay! Oh, I missed. That's it! You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. <laughs> We're missing one. Is it at the top? Bren, hello! Welcome in! Thank you for the resub. Thank you for two months. I appreciate it. Enjoy your new Earth badge, home of humans, and your emotes. We're very glad to have you. Welcome back to the human race. Tui's huge, lots of exploration, yes. My problem with Tui, there's so many mini games uh, that are basically the same game, true. Did you play the mini game versus? I used to love playing that and having it run through all the mini games and I'd play against my brother. If Bottles knows all these moves, how come he doesn't just go fight Grunty himself? Good point. Red, blue, and green stuff, yep, yep, yep. Human. <laughs> thank you, friend. Thank you. Um, thank you for the follow, Delis. Delis, twenty-one forty-two. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Bottles has surprisingly bad depth perception. All right, we're missing one of the empty honeycombs. But we haven't been to the top yet. It might be up there. I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. Oh, and we don't learn um, Kazooie's fast walking thing yet until later, until the first level. I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. <laughs> All right, here we are. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Where, uh... Where is the last... Oh, this is really weird and inverted. Okay. Alright. Oh, is it on top of our house? Isn't there something on top of the house? Did we get that already? I can't remember where the last honeycomb is. Bottles was previously arrested for getting jiggy with it. <laughs> How sage-like of him. Alright. Because I don't think it's over here. There's nothing over here except for the entrance. Yeah. I remember you can jump off of high stuff if you remember to flap. I'm not sure if I'm ready to test my... Uh, oh wow, I'm definitely not ready. Limiting fall damage skills. And avoiding fall damage. Oh, and rolls definitely do not make you go faster. Is there anything in our house? Did we already jump on top of the house? Oh, no, look at that. Okay, all right. Step one. Getting on top of the house. There's an unintended way to take no fall damage with the ground slam move you learn in the next level. Got it. This is great. <laughs> We're getting reacquainted. Dun, 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 dun. And going into the house. Don't die in a level and guess, unless you get all the notes. Because if you die in a level, you lose everything. You lose all the notes, I think. Cozy, yeah. I don't... Oh, we have to do this thing later. Oh, I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about this hidden feature until you collect the jigsaw from the sandcastle game in Treasure Trove Cove. Tell us now, Barrel Boy. No, only when you've got the sandcastle jigsaw. Come on, Kazooie, let's come back later. Anything else we need to do in here? I don't think so. J Dub, hi, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, so 
All these years, years you never did that. There's a mini game in there. I think it's the same puzzle piece mini game that you do in, um, or similar to the one that you do in Tui to unlock all the levels where you have to move the different puzzle pieces. I don't remember what you win. The Barrel Boy line is there because of the pick of bottles. Used to be of Donkey Kong in earlier development. Interesting. Lore, yeah. We all know the lore about stop and swap. Do, do, do we? We love lore on this channel. <laughs> um, if anybody remembers where the last honeycomb is, if we can get it now, I wouldn't mind you sharing it because I'm trying to jog my memory. Oh, what's over there? Anything? No, just the coloring changes. It's not up here. We did all this. I hear, I keep hearing bumblebees. I don't know where they are. Did you get the one underwater? Yes. The ice key, the colored eggs. Oh, the, the eggs that you have to hatch and the, yes, yes, yes. Did you know Banjo's a bear? <laughs> Surely we do, I love Laura. <laughs> Maybe the one up the tree everyone misses. That sounds like the one I missed. There's a tree we have to climb on somewhere. We only climbed one tree, but one tree. Um, there's not a ton of trees around. I have an Aunt Laura, Laura is a nice name. The way they were going to connect this game to Tui, but couldn't because of hardware limitations. Oh, man. I'm gonna do some reading after stream or maybe on break. Oh, here. Thank you. We have more health now. Excellent. Some reading on break to see, because I remember the keys and I remember thinking it was a cool thing to unlock. Didn't some of that lead to, um, Kazooie's transformation in that game. There are ice keys and ukulele that are totally references to this game. Nice. I wish I had an Aunt Laura. <laughs> it's very interesting. And Tui, yes. Okay. Man. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Also, if you die in this game like if i forget to save and quit oh this is creepy our sister this fine contraption so i'm told will make me young and tooty old um oh um oh <laughs> let me go something my brother or something sorry i missed it i like her voice there's many dangers in my lair hurry klungo push that switch I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on, soon be ready. Banjo, help! Ukulele is great, it got bad rep for no reason. I haven't played ukulele, no. Are we gonna end up playing that on stream? It ended up having its own thing, yeah. Stop and Swap was a huge gaming mystery in the early 2000s that people went completely nuts trying to figure out. It's a long story though. Ukulele is- oh, I already read that. No, I haven't played it. I did hear that it got a bad rap though, and I- or rep, rap, and I'm not sure why. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Meep, 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 meep. Yes, play it. Got a little bored with Yuka before I finished it. That's, I mean, that's allowed. All right, we can't go to the next section yet. There's something behind this portrait in um, Tui, I think. This is gonna, I feel like all my memories are of Tui and it's gonna throw us off here, which is not good. We don't need to get any more thrown off than we already are. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. 
We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle, goggle Boy. Uh, great, to fill in missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any, press B to leave. Yeah, I want to use it. Victory music! It's not a bad game. I think it's because everyone was expecting it to be as good as Banjo, and they say it wasn't. Probably a similar uh, sort of a thing with, with Trigger, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. Maybe. Because people were expecting so much. Well, not on that level of fa fame and fandom, but thank you for the host, CG. I appreciate it. Welcome in. But when you do a series, any, any kind of sequel like that, and everybody's wanting and wishing for one thing, it makes it really tough to people for people to look at it objectively as its own game. All right. Uh, something about molehills. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of reading the dialogue. Let's go get a Jinjo. Don't mind me singing along. <laughs> Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. More collectibles! Oh yeah, Eric, we were talking about collectathons earlier. I'm a note. One of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Not staying long. Eating soon. Plus I'm kind of in a mood. Okay, CG. Well, anytime you're able to stay is fine with us. Have a good, um, have a good dinner when you do go and eat. Can I make it up this whole path? Yeah. Ants! Have two, three, four. Oh, I don't know that move yet. Oh, oh, oh. My bad. This is, I think, the trot move that we need. Collectathon! I gave up on ukulele too. The level started getting less and less impressive as the, as the game went on. That's too bad. Sounds useful something. How, hold Z, then press left Z button. Yeah, yeah. I know what this does. Go practice. Okay. Hmm, your energy is a little... Oh! Bottles refills our energy? Heck yes. I don't think I remembered that. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Da, 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 da. This level's pretty tutorial-y since this was pretty early third 3D platformer. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie has a nice gentle difficulty curve, except maybe World 3. I can kind of agree with, with that, Quill. I think it was a right game, right time thing. Yeah. Interesting. Is, um, what's World 3? Is that Clanker's Cavern? Because 2 is Treasure Trove Cove. Wow, I'm gonna have to get used to the, uh, trotting. I keep missing all the notes. This, this reminds us of, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. And the controls and how I'd miss all the music notes in that. Okay. Yeah, Clanker's Cavern was, uh, interesting. <laughs> I wonder how far we'll get today. At this pace, we're going pretty slow, so... Okay, this is the part. Here we are. Um, Mumbo is not a great character. However, I mean, if you loved Mumbo in the original, it's nostalgic, it's a throwback, but the fact that Mumbo exists, I don't like it. And uh, the fact that the vocaloids for him sound the way they do, and the, the vocals for the tokens sound the way that they do, it's not the best decision, but it's, it's a game of its time. Clanker's Cavern, the BK Water Temple, yes. Didn't play it till years later, separated from the news about it. Oh, okay, yeah. Hi, Cabbage, welcome in, how are you? Um, where else, did we get everything we needed to? I think we got all the notes from that. We need, oh, we need this here, oops, oops. This. I slid down that mountain, but we had already learned this, this move. Let's get all these. I hear the Jinjo. 
We got this one already. The one down below us. The yellow friend. Yes, Kazooie, I hear you. I hear you trotting. Mumbo's not really supposed to be modeled after one nationality. Lots of places have shamanism. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's not as bad as Wumba. Um, but it is kind of a mockery of shamanism. Like, ooh, let's make a shaman character. How fun and trendy and goofy. Uh, and make him sound like kind of a mocked up tribal voice. But uh, it's it's a it's a caricature, and that is that is real life for some people, you know, who believe in and practice shamanism. He's not really human; he's a monster thingy. Right, right. I know, but it's just I feel like games nowadays think through that a little bit more. Of it's not a joke or a funny thing to be uh, a shaman for for people. So let's not make a character that's like, haha, punchline is it speaks funny and. Dress is funny. I don't know. It's not particularly, like... It's not aggressive. It's a children's game. It's supposed to be funny and colorful and... Interesting noises. It could be a lot worse, for sure. Same with Grunty, yeah. Yeah, Grunty is, like, fat shaming making fun of the the ugly fat character and villainizing her we're supposed to what are we supposed to do chimpy climb up this tree and get the get the oranges off of this tree yeah hey that's congas nope it's ours now oranges are nice Uh, I think it's less about who he's portraying and more about how he's representing real concepts. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we talked about it if we were if we were gonna still play this game um, when we redeemed it for charity, and if we're talking about it and bringing it up and having discussion about it, then we're bringing light to the issue for people who maybe hadn't thought about it before or were unaware. Instead of just saying like, "Oh no, I won't get, I can't play that game. It's insensitive." In her case, she's fat and unhealthy because her personality is vile. It's mostly to do with her own greedy decisions. They don't go that much into her story. We don't know much about her other than she, uh, she speaks in rhyme and she wants to be pretty. It's like a classic Disney-esque, well, the, the villain's evil, so we're gonna make him ugly. Because ugliness is evil, like that shouldn't be equated, but it gets equated in a lot of fairy tale type things. Uh, I think we're learning how to shoot eggs. Yeah, press the C button, bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. <laughs> Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Birdbrain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you could also use the control stick to aim while you're crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Oh, nice. Our energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there in truth no beauty? Hmm? What? I'm not sure what you mean by that. How many times do I have to hurt to hit this guy? Three, probably. Okay, if I could aim, that would be nice. Oh, no! Okay, there we go. Bear be Conga, me give prize to bear. Thank you. Oh, camera swap. Okay, okay. We're good. We're, we're gonna keep going. Star Trek reference? Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Trek references are gonna be lost on me. 
Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. I don't think this is one that has bees protecting it, so we can just snag these. Thank you. Um, I don't want to get hit by this, this bull here. Never a truck fan. Yeah, my bad. Sounds like Spock. <laughs> Hi, green dragon. Welcome in. How are you? Back with popcorn. Ooh. Classic popcorn with butter and salt. Or sweet popcorn. What you got? Let us know. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. Oh, and then this is the entrance again. But we're missing the, um... The ant hill and up by Mumbo's hut. And we'll grab this Jinjo and these notes. Okay, okay, Jen. Yeah, so these I was more afraid of <laughs> as a kid. We'll see how I do as an adult with the swimming. I think if I just use the little paddle, we can do it, but man, it's very slow. All right. To air! Beautiful, we made it. From a weird episode about an alien too ugly to look at so it stays in a suitcase, but the idea is that they are actually very peaceful despite being ugly. Huh. Interesting. I tried putting Parmesan on it for the first time. Why didn't I do this before? That sounds really good. I'm doing well, Green Dragon. Uh, having a good Monday so far. My word, it's hot outside. I think Southern Cali and Nevada had some record-breaking temperatures last week. Yeah, I believe it. And yes, I have enough for everyone. I inherited like 10 pounds of kernels from someone. I have enough popcorn at least to last until 2022. That's a lot of popcorn. All right, I don't think you're fast enough to catch me. We can run past these. Especially if we use this move, whatever this is called. I know they have funny names. Oh, all the abilities do, and we need this. Um, perfect. I'll, I'll take that, thank you. 10 pounds, it seems like a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm wealthy in popcorn. Seventy-six. The rest might be in the anthill. We're getting close to that point. Oh, and there's a bunch up here. We have to do this whole puzzly thing. Oh, we don't know this move yet. He's over here to teach it to us. Hello? Bottles, where are you? No, I don't want to fight you. There he is. Teach me how to ground pound. And there's the other token. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and then press C to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp. I don't like the sound of that banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. Wow, banjo. Uh, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. On this world. Not in this world. But on it. Get back on that world and no. And jump back in that horse. Yeah, yeah. I always just pour as many kernels as my heart tells me into a pan. And then five minutes later I'm in panic mode. <laughs> I like how big walls around the world aren't perfectly straight. They zigzag to make them more interesting. Yeah. Kernel to popped corn density is a science. I've never watched speedrunners uh, play this. No, I haven't. Just look at the times and think. How do they do that? <laughs> Hop in it! <laughs> Alright. I think, yeah, I didn't even need to do that. Why, how does, uh, man, I bet it's super glitched. I probably should watch a speedrun to educate myself. Do we need to do, um, do we need to crush all of these? No, we need to keep one. So we have to do this thing. Alright, excuse me. Face this way. Nope, nope. Yep, 
you'll get it this time. Ready, go. No. Do I just have to stand next to it? That's probably way easier. Uh, okay. This is kind of a similar... Wow. I think we're supposed to leave one remaining. The rumble pack is going strong. I'm just gonna shoot a bunch of eggs. Oh, don't hit it. Okay. This is gonna make me dizzy. Ah! Come back to the center. Alright, I don't think we have to be right on it. Got it. Thank you! They're just very good and they do know the glitches, yeah. Yeah, you play this game enough. You play any game enough. I'm cutting all the corners. Ah. You play any game enough and you remember that there's an enemy inside of that hut and you don't need to break it open. One of these probably has more notes in it, right? Or did we get that one? Oh, we need the Jinjo. Hi! Jinjo! Ninety. And an extra life. And a Jiggy. This area is item dense. Oh, is there a banjo kazooie randomizer? <laughs> Speaking of item dense. <laughs> oh no. Who am I and what have I done with Jen? Only one more, and it's in the uh the anthill. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see if we could jump up on top. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah, you can get up here. Sometimes there's a thing up here, right? Alright, well... May, hello, welcome in. Somebody say rando? <laughs> there is, it's actually not... Uh, it's actually very recent, from like a month ago. The randomizer is not perfect and not very popular yet. It makes warp zone locations randomly mapped. Huh. Intriguing. I don't know about Rando, but there is a mod that places Banjo and game assets in the Zelda Ocarina of Time settings, which I want to play so very badly. I think I've heard about that. May, how is your Monday going? Oh, I didn't want to talk to you yet. Alright, so yeah, we talked about this. Not the greatest character representation that uh, Rareware has ever come up, come up with. They still... The vocals are sped up when you mash A button still. Oh, I need two more. Where are the other two tokens? Where haven't we been yet? Also, is there something up top? There's eggs up there. Can you jump on this pole, please, sir? <laughs> no, I just want to jump on top of this pole. So we can get to the rest of this hut. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm wondering if there's also a token up here? Just eggs. It's sweltering Monday full of chores, but now I'm home with 20 ounce white claw cooling off. Nice, May. Hi, Ace. Welcome back. Jiggies of time? Oh, that sounds so fun. I like it. Mumbo doesn't bug me. The transgender toad in the second game kind of makes me question things, though. Oh. What? It I have blocked that out. Because I, I think I was saying earlier, in the second game, Humbo Wumba makes me way more uncomfortable than Mumbo Jumbo. But just saying all of those names next to each other makes me kind of cringe. But I'm not remembering the toad. 
How how date? How dare? I miss something. And in Jen's stream, no less. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, yeah. There's not another token up here. Let's go. OTP is now Ace and Eric. <laughs> Okay, where are you tokens? Let me see if I can remember. Well, we haven't been inside of the anthill yet. There might be stuff on the first level. Maybe. I think there's just an enemy and then you get to a platform that you can't, um, you can't jump any higher. Oh, this music is good. Oh yeah, there is a token in here. But that's all we can do for now. Do I need this? No. Jolly Roger, the frog at Lagoon, is implied to be gay and his, his partner seems to be a male toad wearing drag. Interesting. But did they... It wasn't meant to be offensive, but you can tell the game staff kind of thought it was funny to have those characters. Oh, as like a, a punchline, like, haha, isn't it ridiculous and stupid that they're gay versus... Like, oh, wow, some hidden representation. Because there's a big difference. I did not know that. I didn't remember that. But I'm sure the dialogue is very cringy. And, uh... <laughs> now, thinking back, I'm like, yeah, maybe... Maybe there was something going on there. I don't know. It's been a minute. Okay, okay, okay. But that's not the second... Oh, you just said the second game. That's not the second level. That's, uh, what, the fourth level? 20 years ago? Yeah. Um... Where haven't we been? Maybe we didn't see everything over here because we were too busy fighting. And getting hit by oranges. Oop, don't fall. Okay, that's where we throw, throw. Oh, we didn't do these yet, right? Yeah, perfect. As long as you recognize that it doesn't fly now, uh, not that it it really did or should have. Right. I'm glad that we're to the point where we can look back and cringe at that rather than continue to laugh. Mm -hmm. Sounded exactly like DK for a second. It made you look up like, what game are we playing again? I know, I don't love when we just say, well, it was 20 years ago. I mean, it, it's a cause of why it happened, but that doesn't make it okay. I was legit about to ask if we reused the D the Donkey Kong Country sounds. All right, so we unlocked uh, something in the castle, and then I think that's it for this level, except for the notes that are in the um, ant hill. Is there only one empty honeycomb per level? There's not, right? There's, it's, there's six in every level, and we've only gotten one so far. But there might be one in here. Oh, what am I doing? I like that everything stays, all the puzzles stay solved, all the enemies stay dead. They don't regenerate when I come back to this area. They reused sounds? I didn't know that. Did you Google it? Okay, we have lots of tokens. Hopefully in the future we'll only have to come into this hut once per level and we won't have to revisit. Okay, 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 yes. I don't love the broken English. We're a termite now. And I think we might as well well, we might have to come back. We have to do something outside of the castle as a termite. Also, I always called it an ant, but I guess we're a termite. I thought we were an ant and we're going into the ant hill. Oh yeah, but we can't fight. 
I love the the jumping noises. Hey, ho, whoa! Alright, alright. Platforming skills. Let's go. It's pretty forgiving. Like very forgiving. You get some serious air time as a termite. Yay, we got the notes. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. On this world, in this horse. That That's going to get me every time. I can tell the text bubble. Oh, May, thank you for redeeming human music. I'm missing so much of chat. Thank you, thank you. I think that's two. Uh... So much happening. That's two out of five. Thank you for using your human beans to put them towards a music stream for the channel. Time to make dinner. Enjoy your dinner, Ace. If Mumbo's not wearing a mask and that's his real skull with the flesh ripped off. Oh, interesting take. Uh, the text bubbles are the same as DK64. Yeah, I'm, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. So, no. Cabbage, thank you for human kindness. Sokol, thank you for the resub for three months. Welcome back to the human race. We're very glad to have you. Enjoy your new badge, your earth badge, and your emotes. It's good to see you, friend. Um, Cabbage, thank you for redeeming human kindness. I appreciate it. Sending human kindness from me to you. I'm thinking of you. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're here to hang out with us for some Banjo-Kazooie today, and it means a lot to me that you're a part of this community and stick in with us uh, through all of our games. I appreciate it, friend, thank you. So many redemptions. Oh, for Jade Up, and I missed it. Ah. Okay, free one, on the house, ready? <laughs> it's Monday, can you tell? Jade Up, sending human kindness from me to you. I appreciate you, I'm glad that you're here. Also to witness some Banjo-Kazooie today, um, to enjoy and endure the Monday with us. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me and being a supporter of the channel. Um, I'm glad to know you, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cabbage, for using your points. <laughs> oh, man. Whew, okay. I think I, I think I saved it. For some lore, this music playing here was the original theme tune for this world before they rewrote it for the whole world. I, um, I like it, but maybe not enough to be for the whole level. Thanks, thanks, Jada. Thank you, Cabbage. All right, let's get up to the next section. Right here. Oh, oh, don't get hurt. Give me that cool backpack or else. So aggressive. So materialistic. Is there another platform over here? Nope. That's it. Now we go outside and get another life. I keep thinking I'm gonna fall. So is this, is this it? Are we done? I think so. Other than empty honeycombs. Of which we have oh one out of two it tells you how many there are is there one about the entrance that we missed stop and swap and swoop I don't even remember this screen weird hi Quinn welcome in how are you we're playing banjo kazooie I know it's your favorite game we're doing a fun revisit today Remembering all of the things. Remembering what stop and swap is. How's your Monday going? Thank you for the host. Did I say thank you for the host? I appreciate it. Um, I don't remember where the second empty honeycomb is for this level. May, thank you for the host as well. Stop and swap was a planned feature but was never fully implemented. That's what we were talking about earlier. But it is a thing in TUI, but here it's just this empty screen all the time. It's so strange. I don't even remember seeing this. But maybe I have it because I did it in one of my other save files. Uh, guess you're emulating if it's displaying right now. I'm not, though. 
We're not emulating. Thank you for human hydrate cabbage, I appreciate it. This game cartridge already has stop and swap unlocked. That means you don't have to put the secret codes in, you'll just encounter the secret locations as you play. Oh. Working hard today, stay hydrated, thank you. Yeah, that's unfortunate that it's already unlocked. We can't unlock it and revisit, but I'm, I told you I'm gonna look it up on break or at least after stream and figure out some of the stuff that I forgot. An unlocked cart. My brother must have unlocked this because I don't think it was me. But this is my original cartridge from when I was a kid and the original controllers and original system. All of these files are, are mine and my brother's. I think the cartridges the only cartridge I have um, that isn't ours, or wasn't ours, but it is now, I have a, a super, not super, a Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, yeah, yeah, that I bought secondhand, a Wave Race that I bought secondhand, and I have some of Ace's cartridges that I'm borrowing. Anyways, let's just keep playing. <laughs> Does anybody know uh, where the second honeycomb, the second empty honeycomb is? Oh, do we have to come back down this way? Do we take fall dam damage as a termite? I don't think so. You do. We got the one outside of Mumbo's hut. Yeah, I have your Pokemon Stadium and your Kirby 64. If you were, su you were supposed to hot swap to Banjo 2, we did unlock special things. But the technology didn't work out. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. QWERTY and, um, and, uh, Steve. 21st Century Father, we're talking about it. Really, everybody was chiming in because it's so interesting that it had this, like, untapped, unlocked feature. Hi, Ivis, welcome. Happy Monday. This is N64, yes. Keep your baby safe. You don't take fall damage? Okay, that's what I thought. Which honeycomb? We found the one in the totem outside of uh, Mumbo's hut. Is there one by the world entrance? Is that what I'm remembering? Or is that the first level in Tui? What am I doing? Hello? I'm stuck. I want to stay a termite because I want to leave the level and go on top of the level outside. And I think honeycombs stay found when you leave, unlike and everything else that resets, but maybe not the side of the cliff. You want to be a termite for the comb. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I see it. Or I see the alcove. Got it, thank you. We did it, I think we cleared it. You totals. Yeah. In about 30 minutes. Not bad. Well, it's not a speed run. <laughs> that was fun. I remembered most of it. I have a cartridge you can borrow. We can talk about it later. What is it, May? I know you said we could talk about it later, but now I want to know. Change the stream title to Yes, We Know That Stop and Swap was an unimplemented feature that was supposed to connect to Banjo Tooie. Thanks, Quill. <laughs> Uh, 100 counts as best note score. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Thank you. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam around. Okay, okay. Is this the only place we need that? I think the that's the only spot we need to be a termite. But I'm willing to come back. Oh, we don't even have to go back in. Because it eventually transforms us back, yeah? Yeah, 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 okay. That's what I I had forgotten. Stardew 64. <laughs> Alcove is a beautiful word. It is a good word. Let me go find it real quick. Okay. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Yeah, I know. Mumbo magic is getting weak. Animal turns back. 
Something, something. Okay. Magic is gone. Cool. Thanks, Mumbo. Alright. On to uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Apparently some rare developers spent all day working on the animation for when you transform into things. I love that an animation. I remember thinking it was really cool when I was a kid, how he gets all squishy and stretchy. I need to use my hands to demonstrate that. <laughs> Only a day. <laughs> James Bond 007, The World Is Not Enough is the game. Huh. It's a DK64 beta. Hi, Dub. How's it going? Welcome in. I, don't, I didn't even know there was another Bond game besides Goldeneye for N64. I wasn't the best at Goldeneye, so I wasn't, like, itching to buy more James Bond games for this console. I'm doing good. I'm having fun so far with this, uh, with this revisit. This is the beta for DK64. Where did it all go wrong? Oof. Is that a classic rivalry? Do people who really love DK64 hate this game? Or is that just, like, fun banter? Hopefully it has better graphics than GoldenEye. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yes, we've got enough notes. Okay, yes, 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 thank you. Let's go. We have to do a victory dance first. Surprisingly decent. Uh, everyone just wanted GoldenEye, which let's be fair, it is not. But once you get over that, it's pretty decent. Same developer, DK64 just isn't great to play these days. I have that one too. We have that cartridge as well. Where is A dub, B dub, C dub? <laughs> just being a meme lord. The games are nearly identical. Got it. Okay. Love Goldeneye. It was a fantastic game. I just like multiplayer. I never played the story. The door was easy. You got past, unfortunately. You're first and last. Isn't there a switch here? Or that pops up later? That pops up later. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk to all of the, what is her name? We'll talk to her for the first time. Brentilda. I'm not gonna do the thing where we talk to her and take notes. If we do play this and make it to the end, I'm gonna use a guide for the answers to the quiz. Because I don't feel like sitting through all of Grunty's weird secrets. They will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. No, thank you. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. All right. No, stand back on the thing. There we go. I don't want to remove pieces. Once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. It is kind of cool they did that as a failsafe. I guess if you wander too far into the into Grunty's lair and you accidentally use pieces that you don't that you shouldn't be using, you can get them. Diddy Kong Racing is excellent, Cordy. I love Diddy Kong Racing. I have that cartridge too. Can't even play Goldeneye these days. Me? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. Games that didn't age well. Diddy Kong Racing over Mario Kart 64. I'll die on that hill. We've talked about this before. Blasphemy. <laughs> Goldeneye brings fond memories. Wait, what didn't age well? Goldeneye or Donkey Kong? Brentilda kind of creeps me the heck out, to be honest. Yeah. Grunty's weird secrets. <laughs> the answers, answers are save file specific. Oh, are they? Hmm. Well, we'll come back if we need to. Perfect Dark had better multiplayer and gameplay overall. The weapons were sick. My brother loved Perfect Dark. He was so excited when it came out. I have that cartridge too. <laughs> I remember him being like, oh, this is going to be GoldenEye, but better. And there's a cool shooting range in that game where you can try out all the different weapons. Getting controllers thrown at my head for proximity mining every single doorway on the map. <laughs> Treasure Trove Cove makes you nostalgic. Okay, okay, I need to stop reading for a second so we can unlock it. It's down here, yeah? Is there anything in this water? Some eggs. Oh, there's a path down there. Uh, we'll do it later. 
that path is probably how we get to, um, Clanker's Cavern. I never trust gossipers, never. They're always up to something. It was definitely better. The Xbox version stuff, but I remember looking it up and something was weird. Perfect Dark is just rough to play these days. I love the suitcase that turned into a gun center. I don't- I don't know. I didn't play Perfect Dark other than, like, the shooting range. We just have it. My brother loved it. But I'm glad you all have fond memories of all of these. It's- it's awesome talking about N64 and finding other people who like talking about N64. Oh, what is this? I don't really remember what's going on here. I think we have to unlock something else and then come back. We can't, like, jump into this, right? <laughs> How do we get up there? Oh, we can go over here. And then what do we transform into in this level? I'm trying not to look at chat because I want to remember, but I don't know if I'm going to remember. Oh, and we get feathers now. Wee! I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. Let's get these. I think a Jiggy is shot out of the cannon. Oh. Sorry, I left and came back with tea. You know I'm always down for retro talk. Yeah. The game... This game right here is peak N64. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't think of a game I have more hours in on the N64 than, well, than Tui, but Tui and Kazooie combined can count as like a conglomerate. Tea sounds good. I might make tea on break. The main director of this game has a huge love of pirate stuff, which is why there's a lot of pirate stuff in rare games. Okay. Your feathered buddy that you've brung, useless like a pile of dung. Whatever, grunty. over Ocarina of Time every day of the week you take Banjo Kazooie Sea of Thieves wait that's a rare game I'm confused should I know that already pirate was supposed to be the main character of the game really the drunk guy you find in Jolly Rogers Lagoon is Tui in Tui be him why Sea of Thieves happened wait I, don't, I didn't know this about any of these rare lore moments. Is there, a, is there a mumbo jumbo in this level? Why can't I remember? It's not a shark or a crab, I don't think. Rare has a lot of lore. See if these was developed by Rare, but it's the newer Microsoft's Rare. Oh. I've been... I think when it came out I was invited to play or somebody had a key or something but I didn't end up playing it there's some new moves we can find oh yeah this is the scary shark I'm not ready for it yet we'll get there The game director for this and Sea of Thieves uh, is the same dude. Speaking of lore, behind the pier at the start is a giant island that should have stop and swap unlocked. That's it back there? Hang on. Right here? Because <laughs> there's nothing else to look at other than Ocean. I love watching Sea of Thieves. He's the game director of this and creative director of Sea of Thieves. I don't think you can collect the secret items more than once per cartridge. Oh. You have to love how you can pick up on developer trademarks. All right, well, let's do it to it. I'll remember things eventually from this. Oh, do you turn into a bucket? No, there is a bucket. You have to put eggs inside of a bucket. 
I can hear it. It's down here. Me leaky. No good for water. Can bear black hole. Yes. <laughs> we have to make the farting egg noise. Leaky patched up, now empty water. I don't know if I was supposed to do something before I drained the water, but we just went for it. Thank you for redeeming human hydra hydrate, Ivis. I appreciate it. Leaky! Yeah, we poofed eggs into Leaky. <laughs> like, Abzu and Journey were made by two different companies, but shared a designer producer, so the games are thematically and visually very similar. Journey is on our list to play on stream for sure, because we love uh, the music. We love Abzu on this channel. I feel like he wasn't supposed to be named Leaky, and that was just dialogue, but someone named him to be cheeky about it. Leaky has the blood of that exploded sea mine on his hands. True. Can we, um, can we do this part now? Time for cheat codes, yeah? Okay, come on, Jen. No, oh god. There we go. I don't think there's anything special about this. Oh, it's still locked. Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle. Oh, and then it opens the gate and win the prize. Sorry. Uh, I don't remember the puzzle. Do we have to spell out Banjo-Kazooie now or is that for the cheat codes? I guess it'll tell me. Yeah, we have to do it fast. All right, J. Oh, uh, I don't remember where everything is. Where's the K, where's the K? Here it is. Come on, Jen. Where's the Z? I want to see speedrunners do this part. Kazoo... Is there a second O? Yeah. I thought so. And there's the E. Da -da -da -da. The gate opens to reveal your prize. But first, I'll cut you down to size. Be gone! But do you- I think you have to do that every time you want to do cheat codes. The edgiest looking crab I've ever seen. AR was amazing, very similar to Abzu. Air was amazing, similar to Abzu and Journey. Cheater, cheater, honeycomb eater. <laughs> I'm among friends, yeah. Oh goodness. Um, 2000, 2001-ish, Microsoft bought Rare, but the majority of the team broke off later and stayed and started Playtonic Games, which developed ukulele. If Sea of Thieves had the same director, that probably explains why ukulele would have been lackluster. Huh. Journey, yeah. Man, I have so much reading to do. <laughs> I wonder if it has to do with the words on the wall. Okay, yes. I couldn't remember if that was part of the cheats or if that was just the puzzle for this guy, but I remembered that if you did it wrong, it gives you that buzzing noise, like wrong answer. Hi Amber, welcome. How are you? Look up Duck or Haganator for all the Banjo Kazooie speedruns you could ever want to watch. Ooh, okay. All right. I'm a little delayed, but I will read everything as I get to it. Um, what's out here? Just a little crab. Is this where you get the first uh, X or arrow? Or is that where the last one is? I can't remember. This is gonna be very similar to our Paper Mario playthrough and that I know I remember a lot, but I remember weird little pieces of a lot of things. Not perfectly in the right order. I like Sky Children of the Light, uh, made by the same people as Journey and a free mobile game. 
I have a thing for flying, so eight, air holds a special place, but yeah, the other two were a little stronger. Still at work like usual. Today will be 36 hours and three days. Dang, Amber, good luck. I hope the rest of it goes well. That's a lot. The music is making my heart sing, I know. It's so good. I'm trying not to sing along the entire time, but it, it's the best. I think this is my favorite level for music. Well, I don't know. This game has Freeze Easy Peak. This game has Click Clock Woods. Uh, just so many good, good songs. And the remixes of them are good too. Tomorrow we'll make it 48, dang. Uh, your face makes my heart sing. Need to play that. Click Clock Wood Spring is your favorite from this game. Yeah, that's a really good one. I can't remember my favorite from uh, Tui. I remember really liking the dinosaur music, but I'm sure there's better songs. I like the underwater music in Jolly, Water Jolly Rogers Lagoon too. I'm probably forgetting something. We didn't need those feathers because we still don't know how to fly. But we did it anyways. Oh, I remember these being really scary. Is there a Jiggy in here? There's notes in here that you have to get. And I remember being scared of these clams because I think they take your items. Oh man, camera angles. Right? Not if you get to him first. If we ever play um, Super Mario 64 on stream, also, I mean, this game kind of falls in that. Or if we ever play Ocarina of Time on stream, you will you will learn all the things that Jen thought were scary as a kid. We'll go through levels and be like, oh yeah, this was terrifying when I was little. Bring it in the moolah though, hmm? Huh? Oh, for the hours? Yeah. I'm doing good, Amber. I'm having fun playing this and hanging out with you all. Joy that they, uh, they bothered to put in a glare for the sun that changes direction as you look at it. Yeah. The dinky little palm trees. A green of time. I'll totally take 18 hours overtime. Nice. The clams are intimidating. Um... Yeah, I was scared of this, but like, what's the worst that happens if you jump in here? You lose one honeycomb? It's not that bad, it's not an insta-death. You all know I hate insta-death. What's up here? More pirate stuff, more platforming. Thank you for the follow, Joanne. Uh, thank you for supporting a fellow human, welcome in. Or Joan. Let me know if I'm saying it right. Apologies, I do my best. All right, let's go up here. J-Dub, thank you for the host, I appreciate it. Is this where the first flying pad is? Did we come up here for nothing? Yeah, we still don't know how to fly, okay. Jen, let's go learn how to fly. Rah, 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 rah. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Not yet. Oh wait, there's a shark. Oh no, 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 I forgot about the shark. Uh, get up here, get up here. Okay. What else is over here? Something in that alcove. Oh, there's a token over there that we're gonna need. Treasure chests with teeth as a met are a metaphor for the strong jaws of capitalism. I like it. Snackers. Rusty Bucket Bay. Engine room. Everybody's favorite. Oh, man. A host for humanity. I like it. Um. Okay, I can't remember for the life of me. Is Mumbo in this level? What do we turn into? Dinner. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be your dinner. I was also pretty terrified of the shark as a kid. But it's easier to avoid. You can just, you know, not go in the water. Oh, 
I hear our friend crying. Hi. I want to help you. I'm Captain Blubber. And I lost me treasure when me ship burp, 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 crash. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. No. Oh. Those are real tears. I want to learn how to fly first, I think. Well, hey! Hi, Hylian. Welcome in. Snacker is a metaphor for knowing your place in the food chain. Mumbles isn't here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Stupid Baron Bird on adventure! Yeah, that's what we're doing today. And all week. Kazooie sass is honestly top shelf. She has excellent sass. The flute trills. The marimba. Plinks and plunks. Okay, let's not fall off. Ooh, I see more notes on top of that tree over there. We gotta get all the music notes! Okay. Let's learn how to fly! Hippos are so dense that they're one of the only animals that sink in water. That's why he can't swim. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. They sink, but they're really good swimmers. In real life. Not this hippo in this game. Or, yeah, they swim. They don't just, like, sink to the bottom and then come back up. I don't know how to describe what I'm thinking. They definitely swim. This guy wahays. <laughs> I'm now at full power. Glad to have you, Ace. Hello, hello. Meanwhile, I'm dense and can't swim. Alright, let's go up here. I think there's a Jinjo. Um, yeah, we'll fly. I think we're going to this alcove over here. Uh oh, don't get chomped. No, oh, uh, we got chomped. How do I stop flying? Okay, that's one way. This be Gruntilda's booty! Touch it if you dare! Alright, let me just uh, get lined up here. Yep. Stellar. Da -da 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 -da. Excellent, excellent animation. <laughs> that golden treasure was for me. Now, harder still, the game will be. Spoiler, it doesn't get any harder or easier whether you find that jiggy or not. I love how Bottles Molehill is on suspended platform. Like, Bottles, how did you tunnel here? Yeah. They spend a lot of time in water, but they just walk along the bottom of the water. I thought they swam. Gruntilda's booty. <laughs> She's serious now. The snacker got us. Oop, oh, okay. Just don't get eaten by a shark. Nope. Get out of there! Okay. Uh... This way again, I guess? There's a lot of places we need to fly, yeah? Can you- can you not? Oh my goodness. If this were real, that shark would just take a bite out of us. How did bottles tunnel all the way to the middle of a shark infested island? True. <laughs> Under the ocean, though. Presum- presumably? Oh, I need... I need these. Thank you. We're gonna go visit that honeycomb thing. I don't think Bottles recovered our health this time, in this level. That's only in the tutorial level. That is a satisfying squeak. Oh, I can leave these. They won't disappear. I can leave them for later. Woo. 
We're at 41 notes. Not bad. Making progress. I forgot that the creators of this game use the same music producers as Donkey Kong, or they're actually the same creators. It's a rare game. The size of the palm trees fills me with disdain. <laughs> the music is so good. We've been saying all stream, and I'll say it again. Oop, don't fall. Jen, please. What are you doing? Good enough. Oh, oh, we can learn these right here. Yay! You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. <laughs> Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the cove's new moves. Apparently palm trees aren't true trees, they're a type of grass that evolved so big as to be tree-like. I've never heard that before. Oh yeah, we're still collecting tokens, whether we like it or not. I remember this being kind of tricky. Can I go this way first? I don't know. Let's just go this way. Oh, that's not how I do it at all. Bummer. Please stay away from me. Although I should just kill them so they don't get us every time we fall, because we'll probably fall again. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we'll never fall again. DK64 and this soundtrack are the same guy, but Donkey Kong Country games are different people. And also very good music, but for different reasons. This music? Yeah. We're all bopping. <laughs> Oh, so we can go over there now and check it out, but it's gonna be empty. Um, I don't necessarily feel like we need to do that right now. As much as I want to investigate, there are more pressing issues at hand. Okay, onward. I abandoned the shock spring pads. We'll come, we'll come back to them. Oh, I remember the, uh, the giant hermit crab, okay. <laughs> What's in this, a Jinjo? Anything? Oh, eggs? We don't really need to go in there. Camera angles! Oh, I remember the mines. What's underneath there? Anything? A token. Great. And we saw one earlier, but I didn't get it yet. Oh, Alright, fine. Can you get me while I'm underwater? Alright, get out of there. Let's not press our luck. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding! Ah! We're gonna explode! How do we get out of here? There we go. I panicked. Hi, Willy. How's it going? How are you? Happy Monday. That had a rather large hitbox. Okay, here's another spring pad. I love this noise that those make. Oh, it's so good. Satisfying sound effects. Whee! Nope, get closer though. Is there a Jinjo in here? Or a Jiggy? Yep. Intimidating. Uh, let's get this life first. Oh no, this is a Jinjo. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell from far away. Whee! Whee! 
These floaty boys. Mm -hmm. I like to think that dude was like, get out of the pool, it's mine. Thanks, Ace. Was that Qbert? Huh? What are you talking about? Okay, let's doggy paddle down to the bottom. Precisely. And then burst back up to the top quickly so we don't die. Wonderful. The swimming so far is going okay. I'm remembering what it's like to have to adjust for the camera angle and all that. But there's not a whole lot of swimming that's happened yet. How many tokens are there in this? A lot more, it seems. For a level that doesn't need them. We're collecting a lot of them. Okay. Uh, we'll get these. It's nice that you don't have to do things in any particular order, too. We're just wandering around, and we can do a few loops to catch it all, you know? Now we're back to this place that we were before. We still haven't gotten the gold bars for our hippo friend. Uh, what was over here? This is very narrow. With these boxes? Um, some eggs? I'm curious, I don't know what's over here. Oops. Okay, okay, we dove down. I did not mean to do this. <laughs> oh, we're actually faster than the shark? No, it's probably right behind us. Where can I get out of the water? Well, that was cool. I didn't know you could outswim it. I always assumed we were too slow. Hi, Enrique. Welcome in. Deeper than it looked. The thing I collected on the cliff. Oh, that was a Jinjo. Have you not seen them yet? You might have missed them when you were coming home from work. Just having fun? I'm glad you're having fun. Not too shabby. Had dinner. What'd you have for dinner, Ace? I don't remember what's over here. And now that I know I can't make that jump, I'll be smarter. Hopefully. Do we have to do like a Z, a Z jump here? Probably. I don't remember this at all. Where are we going? Fantastic. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. Hi, Mistake. Welcome in. Happy Monday. I had a barbecue rib sandwich with pickled radishes. Mom sent me home with homemade bread yesterday. Oh, yum. That sounds really good. Quick hydrate break. I hear a ticking noise, but I think it's in this uh, area above us. Yeah, nothing to do out in the water. We just have to come back the way we came. Go back the way we came. You know what I meant. I feel like, oh man, we have to do this shark thing again. With this game, oh, you can't show up in front of me. Does it just bite you once and then go away, though? No. I still hear it coming. With this game, the platforming in this game compared to Super Mario 64, I don't know about Donkey Kong 64, there's a lot less things moving all the time that you're having to avoid or jump from that are gonna disappear or go like this around you. Does that make sense? Everything's pretty stationary so far. Hello all, I hope it is a good day for everyone here, and I guess everyone not here as well. Thanks, mistake. Hi, Sleek Beak. Welcome in. The eggs are for shooting at enemies and doing various puzzle things with them. Um, that's about it. They're ammo. Eggs are ammo. Alright, please. Um, the feathers are for flying. 
The honeycombs give you health. Oh, come on. Come on, jump out. No, no, no. <laughs> Go away, shark. Yes, thank you. The Jinjos give you a jiggy if you find five in every level. We're doing a quick, a quick review for anybody who missed the beginning. I can't aim. Really? There we go. Oh, we are gonna have to swim now. We've backtracked significantly. That's okay. Oh, go in here. Yep, yep. As I just said, I was getting used to the swimming. <laughs> it's fine. The Jinjos are red coins from Mario 64. Um, I don't know. Are they? Oh, we missed all of these? What the hey? Let's get a breath of air. Look at that snoot. And go all the way to the bottom. There we go, we just weren't deep enough. I think there's a gold bar in this room, yeah. We have to get two of them or three of them? Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Is that it? Okay. Collect five or seven red coins and you get a star. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing then. Uh, we're going up here so we can jump down this hole. Oh, I have to do this, I think. There we go. What are the gold bars? So many items to collect. The gold bars are for this crying hippo that's uh, that lost its treasure. The hippo pirate. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, go down to the bottom again. Oh, we missed one. Because we weren't low enough. Yeah, these rooms, I'm not doing so hot. And they let you come up for air to restart really easily, so. No, turn around. Oh my god. <laughs> Banjo glitches into the wall a ton when swimming, it seems. Just go straight down in the corner. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You got it. Now come back up here and get this one. Yeah, yeah sound effect, man. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. So graceful underwater. This is who we're giving the gold bars to. Here, take it. One, two. Da -da -da -da. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend, spend. And now we do a jiggy dance. Go ho. Can we climb up this pole? Yeah, that's right. Alright, what are we missing? A bunch of notes. Half of the jiggies, both of the honeycombs. We have so much still to go. We have a lot of flying to do. Oops. Um, we climbed this pole, yeah. What's on... What's on the other side of this? There's a staircase. I don't remember where it leads. Oh, does this exit the world? I feel like it does. So we should not go that way. Okay, back back over here. And fall in the water. That was close. I'm 
so... Um... I know... Oh, we have to do the hermit crab. Let's go this way. Briefly. And figure out if we need to do... These puzzles? Oh, I missed. Can I get it like this? Yeah, we can still get it. Okay. Let's fly! Over here. And keep getting arrows. Off-center arrows. Okay. Thank you, Rumble Pack. Your hard work is appreciated. Can we only carry 50 feathers? It seems that we can. Over here. One of these ends up being a trolley question mark. Oh yeah, I forgot about these uh these jump pads. We messed that up earlier. This one is a question mark. You'll never find me now! But isn't it just that island? Yeah. Alright, we're going to hop over to that island. And then we're gonna take a quick break. We're right about at that point that we usually take our breaks. Open me gently. I tried to do this move. Oh my god. Come here! There we go. We got it! After much, much, uh... What's the word? I don't know, floundering. We got it. Alright, thank you for the hype. We're at 6 out of 10 jiggies for this level now. Um, I'm gonna leave this music on, on break, because it's fantastic. A laundry break, nice. Yeah, go do your laundry if you need to. Snacks, bathroom break, get more water, stretch, all the things. Um, we'll see you in a little bit when we get back. Thanks, everyone. humans I'm back sorry that was an extra long break I decided to make decaf I decided not to make tea but it didn't take that long so we're good hi friends hello hello welcome back uh, when I lived in South Korea a big thing was jam and cream cheese on toast that sounds delicious honestly can't eat a lot of Nutella at once. Me neither, but it is very good. Also, you got to hear these fantastic sound effects of Kazooie in the meantime. Cream cheese. I tried that before. Go back to Lurk. Hi, Zerberus. <laughs> Enjoy your Lurk. It's good to see you. Did you say your usual welcome? Peanut butter, other, Vegemite, Marmite, jelly, or butter? And mostly other is winning. Is that for honey and Nutella and things of that nature? made homemade strawberry jelly this year. Oh, that sounds so good. And you're on your last jar. That sounds delicious. All right, I missed the poll times, but I hope you all had fun on the break. I've got my decaf, I'm ready to go. Cheers. <laughs> Cabbage, thank you for redeeming human kindness. I appreciate it. Is this one for you? I'll maybe wait a little bit longer this time. To mistake, okay. Hi, mom the human, welcome in. It's good to see you. I just made some decaf coffee with the Keurig. And we're supposed to ask you what year we got the N64. Was it the year that they came out or did we wait until later to buy one? Do you remember? Also, what do you like on your toast? Okay, from cabbage is human beans <laughs> to mistake. Sending human kindness from me to you. I appreciate you. I'm glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you're a part of the team and a part of the human race. 
Um, thanks for stopping in to watch some Banjo-Kazooie with us today. I hope you're doing very well on this Monday. Thank you, Cabbage, for sending that over to Mistake. Oh my, that cabbage. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep playing while Human Mom is contemplating Toast and N64s if she would like to chime in. If not, that's fine too, no worries. Yeah, it's only Monday, I know. It felt like, um, it didn't feel like Monday. Yesterday felt like Monday. But sadly, here we are at the very beginning of the week. Where's my my Brian Bean? <laughs> okay, let's go to... I'm hearing a Jinjo. Where is the Jinjo voice coming from? I hear you whistling at me. Help! It's up on top of these platforms right here. Do we need this? No. Wait, what's over there? Oh, another honeycomb? Under the water? Okay, that's fine. Cheese? I forgot to add cheese to the vote for your toast. Make it sharp. Permission to do something cheesy? Oh no. <laughs> Quinn has denied you. What is it? What is it, Ace? I like butter on toast and unfortunately cannot remember when we got it. Do you remember though if it was like when they came out? I don't, I don't, you don't need to remember the exact year, but did we get it as soon as it was released or you can't remember? In any case, it was somewhere in the ballpark of 96 to 98-ish. Because we definitely already had it. Well, do I remember? I feel like it was 96. For mom, aw, Ace, that is really cheesy, but thank you for redeeming human kindness for mom the human. Also, like just doing butter mayo mustard when I'm on low selenium. Interesting. Hi, Meehan, welcome in. You didn't mean to send that face? What face? It's okay. No worries. Um, sending human kindness from me to you thanks to Ace using his human beans. I appreciate you. I'm so glad you're here watching and that you support the channel and it's super cheesy that I'm doing this right now. But, um, thank you, Mom. All the human kindness. <laughs> I think it was pretty soon after release. Yeah. So either, yeah, 96 or 97 probably. Good to know. For, for channel purposes. <laughs> that was cute, Ace. And cheesy. It's allowed to be both. Oh, I think I remember how to do these. You have to go onto the ground. Yeah. I forgot. It's really, it's really odd. Okay. Uh, is there something over there that we need? Eggs? We don't really need. Oh, yeah. The solar flare is cool. That was very cute. <laughs> of course. Oop, I messed that up. Oh, we still got it. Let's go this way then? I guess it depends how far apart they are. Can we get this one by doing that? Okay, we got it. We've only got three. I know one is under the dock at the beginning. Did we go this way yet? Sorry, I'm flipping the camera a ton. Oh, don't over jump it, okay. I think I like the camera okay in this one. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's not perfect as a sheep hoodie. Thanks, Quinn, for using your human beans to redeem human hoodie. We have a new one in the mix now. Is Banjo the big one? Yes, Banjo is the bear. Um, I'll go grab that really quick. Also, thank you for the hydrate, Ibis. We need to hydrate with all this toast and coffee. Okay. The rumble pack keeps startling me when I don't have the headphones in. <laughs> one second. I think you missed it, the reveal of this hoodie for the first time was yesterday. But it was perfect for the collection. <laughs> Thank you for using your human beans. I 
and here we are. Well, now you get a new reveal. No, no worries. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it on the roster for sure. I think it's a new favorite. Sheep. <laughs> and I feel like it goes with the the redemption every time somebody picks the sheep one that we have to put the clip up there. What is it that people always say when they talk about uh, fame? Like, if you end up being that person that's famous for killing a sheep on accident in Super Mario Odyssey, then you just gotta own it. Like, you never know what weird thing about you is gonna go viral. <laughs> Not that that's viral in any way, but it's certainly famous on our channel. Clout? It's like, if you're gonna be the person who gets weirdly famous for something dumb, then are you gonna be someone that, like, owns it and is like, yeah, that's me? Or resent it forever, like, oh, I wish I'd never done that. And it also goes to, like, make you think about what you do publicly and on the internet. Like, anything you put out there could be what gets you noticed, you know. Let's get ready to rumble! The rumble pack is still kicking after all these years. Maybe an oof? I thought I should add in memoriam as an alias. Oh no! <laughs> Sheep slayer, yeah. See my best, see my best. Leading the lambs to slaughter, okay. <laughs> so brutal. Human hydrate. My coffee is still too hot, so I'll have some water. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's continue. Won't anybody save these poor sheep from Jen's tyranny? <laughs> no. They're at my mercy. Thankfully, I'm quite merciful, especially after what I've done so far. I'll never, I'll never repeat the crime. Okay. All right, okay, all right, all right. Where are we at? Seven? Hermit crab. We gotta go see the hermit crab. And then we gotta do some more flying. Where's the start of this level? Oopsies. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay, I know there's honeycombs laying around all over the place. Like right here, look at that. Perfect timing. Flawless execution. <laughs> Sheep is safe. Glidin though. She murdered the sheep and turned it into a vest. No, that's not what happened. Although that is kind of funny. Um, we have to climb a bunch of trees still too, don't we? There's just feathers up here. We haven't climbed all the strange looking palm trees in this game yet. Okay. What? I hit- I definitely hit the dive button! It does a little circle after it bites you, that's fun. Go away, please. Alright. Oh, it like spins you around. Maybe we'll find some honeycombs and then go back. I can't remember if there's a trick to that. Maybe jump off the back of this platform? Or off the side. I don't want to accidentally leave the level. Oh god. There we go. Go, 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 go! We did it! We survived. From The Simpsons to the tune of Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. Got it. See my sweater, there's no better than a real Irish sweater. Oh, that's so morbid. <laughs> I was gonna say dive bomb from the back. We got it, we got it. Couldn't care less about Glyden. Oh, I love Glyden. You combine the messages? I've gotta hop off for a while, but I hope to be back before the stream ends. Bye, friends. Okay, Ivis, I'm glad you were able to hang out. Hope you can make it back, but if not, that's okay too. Have a good rest of your Monday. All the hugs, all the kindness. Ciao for meow, he did nothing for you. Oh, I like Glyden. Archer, hi! We are playing a classic. Yes, welcome in. How's it going? 
Uh, we need to go to the hermit crab. Right over here. Hermit crab and climb trees. And then I think that's pretty much it. Do I remember how to fight you? Hey, this nipper's beach. You find nothing without nipper's help. Help us send crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. Oh, you just run up in between clips. Rawr, you hurt nipper makes me mad. We just do this three times, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, too quick for me. Big mouthed bird. Well, we won. Is there anything behind you? Yes. Yes, there is. I think we only have one more of the tokens left in this level. It's unsettling looking. <laughs> Au revoir. You should play Spyro. Plenty more sheep to senselessly murder there. I should play Spyro. I never played Spyro. Not bad. I'm supposed to be good and focus on being productive, but I couldn't resist popping in for a banjo stream. Oh, well, I'm glad you are a fellow lover of banjo, but um, I hope you're also able to get stuff done if you need to. It's good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. This is one of those games that just like people poking their head in from other rooms like banjo. Did you say banjo? <laughs> You've never played Spyro either? I've had it recommended a couple times recently. Um, oops. I know we have some humans in the human race that would really love to see us play it on stream. Let's get this jiggy. Two more. This should be number eight, right? Yeah. Or maybe Ratchet and Clank, you could turn enemies into sheep and then murder them. <laughs> but I don't want to play it just because of the sheep. I want to play it regardless. Spyro with Sega. It was PlayStation. Yeah, we were firmly a Nintendo family until much later. A Nintendo and CD-ROM family. We played lots of computer games on CD-ROM. Also, I enjoy saying CD-ROM. <laughs> when do you ever hear that anymore? She murder is an added bonus, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Alright, we did the hermit crab thing. How many notes do we have? Eight notes. Eight notes. Many trees to climb. I kind of lost track. We aren't being, we once again are not being methodical. I know we've already been over here, but I'm looking for trees now. Are there any over here? No. It doesn't help that some things don't appear until you get closer to them. You can't see them in the distance. Sonic was Sega, Spyro was PS, uh, PlayStation. We were also a Nintendo family, yeah. There's another game where you can play as Bandicoot, Bandicoot named Crash. I forget what it's called. <laughs> hmm, what could it possibly be? Um, did we check these trees? It looks like we did. I think they did have notes on them. I think we got them all. Oh no. Repeating myself. We got these. Okay, so did we get to the top of this tower and then we couldn't fly yet? I think that might have happened. Oops, I fell off the ledge. My bad. Oh. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I want that extra life. And we haven't found the honeycombs yet. I don't know where they are. Ooh, 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 run away. I'm not a fast enough swimmer for this shark. Oh, but it gets stuck, nice. Yeah, haha, -ha, take that. You were a Nin Sony boy, <laughs> but never Xbox. Had every Nintendo console since Super Nintendo, nice. 
had it all growing up. Then I got a PS2 one day. Yeah, we got, um, we got a PlayStation. I'm not sure how or why when I was in middle school. And that's when I played the two PlayStation games I've ever, well, aside from DDR, I played lots of DDR at friends' houses. But then I've played Chrono Cross and Final Fantasy IX are my PlayStation games. <laughs> Time to head back to the apartment. Okay, Copper, safe travels. Super Nintendo is still the best one. We had a Sega Genesis first and got N64 and we're Nintendo ever since. Every game console out there at some point except for Sega. Nice. If I could pick just one console library to only play for the rest of my life, it'd be Super Nintendo. That's a fair point or like question when you're picking your console. Cause if you have just one favorite game or a couple or you like the console itself, and the era, but like you have to contend with the whole entire library and Super Nintendo has a really good library. But I'm not, I'm not well versed in the other consoles. I don't know much about them. Yeah, we got to this point before and we couldn't fly yet. Oh, but it's on the same side. Oh yeah, we have to go up top. All right. Is that maybe where that staircase leads then? I don't know. Let's just let's just go up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where the staircase leads. All right. I was nervous that the staircase was going to make us exit the level and I didn't want that to happen. I love DDR. Hi Loki. Me too. It was so fun. Welcome in. Console of choice. I I see there's a poll going. Yeah, DDR was so fun. I had it for PlayStation 2. I ended up getting maybe in college or later after college, I got one and I got DDR so I could relive the magic. Vote for your favorite console now. For the record, you can only enter exit through the first warp pad. Okay, thank you, Quinn. I wasn't sure, cause I know there's tunnels in Tui that'll take you out of the level but not in, in Kazooie. So it's 030, nice Monday evening, night everyone. I'll go to sleep. I like to repeat it every time. Thanks Cerberus, have a good sleep. I don't mind you repeating it. It's kind of nice. We'll see you next time. Nintendo all the way. Not in Banjo-Kazooie, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not afraid in later levels cause we're probably gonna need it. And there's a lot I'm, I'm just not quite remembering. Uh, Fully, and that's okay. It has been many years. Oh, oh, okay. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> we gotta make it to the top. Why is this so tricky? We got it before. There we go. Now maybe line this up a little better. Whee! Oh, okay, that did it, yeah. I like the uh, the gull screeching up here and the fact that the music stops is kind of cool. Is this the switch that makes her eye bulge out? No, that's the one where the jiggy shoots out of the cannon. You didn't include PlayStation that made my vote easier? I think you did. Jordan, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. For real, I'm just waking up. It's all good. <laughs> I remember there used to be Sony stores. There were Sony stores? I don't think I, uh, I didn't think I knew that existed. Oh, there's music notes down there. We need them. We need them. We're only five away now. And I don't know where the missing five are. But we'll find them, don't worry. Can we go in this? From a uh, beak barge or whatever it's called. We got a token. Oh, fantastic. I do know where the missing five are. We got them, not bad. 
You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. We did it. You remember Rose of Sony Walkman? I went to one as a kid and got to play PlayStation games all day. That does sound fun. Oh, it kind of reminds me of like a Radio Shack store then. Cameras and electronics and games. Although, although I don't think Radio Shack had games. But that used to be a type of store that existed. No love for Xbox. There's a throwback. Nobody beat the Wiz. All right. Now we need one more Jiggy and two more honeycombs, and I don't know where the honeycombs are. Hmm, we're wasting time. Hmm, pondering. Oops, that was almost a fall damage moment. It's okay. It's okay. That was a fall damage moment. I can't seem to gauge. Oh, hi, Jinjo. I need that. Thank you. I need to stop looking at trees for music notes because we got everything. Oh, is this our last Jiggy? Yeah, yeah, this is our last Jiggy. Okay, perfect. But where are the honeycombs then? Fine, Glyden. Hi, Rem. Welcome in. I'm losing uh, the thread. Seems like it's time for this bear to go to bed. Enjoy stream, humans. Hylian, have a great sleep. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us today. So many demos of strange games I can't remember. Yeah, oh man. The times when you were a kid and you played something at a store and you're like... Mom, mom, I love this game. It's the best. And then I don't remember what any of them were. <laughs> like, I, I know for a fact none of them were ever games that they were like, oh yeah, sure, let me get you that. Let's play that. Let's purchase it. <laughs> did you do it in the sandcastle? We did. Uh, we did the jiggy. Is there also a honeycomb in there? That sounds so funny. Out of context. We did the jiggy. I like this view. Can we get safely down from here? Nope. Okay, all right. That's a little aggressive. <laughs> I like how, oh wow, we are just losing, we're losing our, our bearing. I did like how in Tui, they added the warp pad so you could warp to different areas of the level think that you were making tea when I did. Okay. Doing a jiggy would not be off-brand for this channel. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. That's another song with na 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 as a line and or chorus. Why were we talking about that the other day? <laughs> what song was it? Oh, it was uh, the centerfold song that Mel was singing or talking about. I can't remember how it came up. But that one also has na 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 Lots of na na's and hey's in all of our songs. Humans love a good na na na. <laughs> Let's party like it's 1990. Hold up, it is. Kaz was singing it, yeah, okay. I was there for some of it and caught just singing the chorus. Honeycombs, honeycombs, where, if I was a honeycomb, where would I be? I feel like we did so much. We looked in all these creepy treasure chests. We went up to the top of this scary tower. We went over, we went over to this tower or we climbed down from those stairs. Uh, we went up to the lighthouse. Man. It makes me wonder if I ever found them in this level. 1999. Willennium. Um. 
We solved this puzzle. Oh, I can't climb that. Hmm. Is there one in the hermit crab shell that we missed that I'm not thinking of? Or on top of it or something? I'm on 15 second delay. You're good, cause. It's all good. Our conspiracy theories that the world actually ended during Y2K? I don't- I don't know. I remember everyone was worried that the world was going to end, but it didn't. As far as we know. <laughs> um, let's go back inside. Maybe there's something that I have to jump up for that I missed. We got the jiggy. I just don't think the ceilings are that high in here, but... No. We definitely got everything. Can you look around? Yeah. Huh. Um... What else haven't we done? We could go back to the sand castle. We didn't explore around it, we only went inside it. There is one, only one in the shell. We're talking about um, honeycombs, not jiggies. Also, hi Roshi, welcome in. Uh, roller coaster tycoon. 2020 does seem like a lot like purgatory. I was glad it didn't because I was busy playing. Oh, okay, I missed the start of that, yeah. Mistake was busy playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. Listening to Will 2K just because it's so old that he references Dick Clark hosting New Year's Eve broadcast. I don't know what that is either. It's a Dragon Ball Z reference name, nice. Dick Clark hosted until the bitter end, yeah. Ah, the old New Year's Eve show. That's one of those weird things when you stop, um, we've talked about this before where many of us have stopped having cable TV, not all of us, just some of us, and just use the internet and streaming and Netflix and things like that for TV nowadays, but that is one of the oddball things you lose. You lose the Olympics if you're into that, you lose New Year's Eve shows, which, eh, and uh, sports, so a lot of people like, if there's a sporting event you want to watch and you don't have cable anymore, they make it very difficult. An anime, but I never saw it. If you really want to feel old, listen to Destiny's Child Bugaboo. Does anyone here have cable TV? I think so. I used to, but parents switched over to satellite. Okay. Uh... If anybody does know where the honeycombs are... Well, we haven't been over here yet, but there's not a honeycomb over here. We'll go look at it. I forget what it says on this rock. Shark Food Island, of course. Oh, and I said I was going to look around the sandcastle, and then I didn't. What's in here? Uh, this is the thing. This is the weird unlockable items island. There's not gonna be anything in here, right? I like the music. The whole thing is full of what used to be like cutting edge stuff and it is totally obscure. Oh my goodness. Through my internet provider, I was able to get this mobile TV service where I could also watch on my computer and TV for $10 a month. So it's like basic cable. Nice. Hey, Wiki, welcome in. How's it going? I need to listen to that song now, so call. We've been having a lot of time warp moments lately. Homestar Runner. The Gummy Bears television show. Okay, good job, Jen. Just things transporting us back. 
Plus we're playing Pandro Kazooie. Honeycomb over by the ladders, down by the water. For a stop and swap. This is stop and swap, right? Okay. I'm I wanna see it, but it's all gonna be empty. We're playing a file that already has it unlocked. What is what there's what an odd thing. Alright, we'll get out of here. Lurking and working as usual. Thanks. I appreciate the lurk. I hope work is going well for you. Um yeah, now we're on Shark Food Island. Well, we got an extra life out of it, so there. So there, Rareware. Oops, that wasn't a very good job. Go swim! Is there another thing on the other side of this? A little cutout or something? No, definitely not. Okay. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, we were looking at the ladders earlier, but then I kept walking. Oh, they're over here. We're so close to being done with this level. We could skip the honeycombs. I don't really want to skip the honeycombs. I would like to get them. It's over here, these ladders. I think, I'm assuming. Can we jump up on top of this? We can jump that high, right? Okay, okay. Excuse you. And then we went over here and that's where we got another Jiggy. Was it this? Did we not go in this one? Oh, wow. I thought we did go in this one. CG, thank you for redeeming human kindness. Kindness, oh, I can't talk. Human kindness. Uh, I appreciate it for chat, I'm assuming, since you said I already know. Sending human kindness for me to all of you Courtesy of CG's Human Beans. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you. I'm thinking of you. This is really fun hanging out today and playing Banjo Kazooie. And I'm very glad that you're all members of this community. It means a lot to me. Thank you. That's a big mimic. This is the most antiquated thing in this song uh, that the boyfriend is still calling her with a phone and pager. MCI isn't a thing anymore. AOL make her email stop. <laughs> and the call block list was a whole different thing. Oh, wow. The do not call list. Yeah, we got this one. All right, so that's not it. Um, no, I don't want that. Maybe keep going up this ladder. Is it under... No. I'm tempted to look it up. Oh, we got the extra life that was over there. It's over by the jiggy at the ladders in the water. You gotta swim around the ledge to where you see the crab again. not sure what you're talking about. Oops. Um, it's okay though. Uh, I, I guess we don't have our usual like backseat no spoilery thing on because I've played this game before so I don't mind um, questions being answered when I ask them in this setting. Uh, sorry if I didn't clarify that ahead of time. Back when Destiny Child was four people. Are these the same ladders that you're talking about? And then go over here with these ledges. I thought we got a jiggy over here. Oh wait, this isn't a ledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
They made these tricky. And there's two of them. This is only one of them. I played this game so many years ago, I couldn't spoil it for you if I wanted to. Such a good throwback, yeah. I know. There's so many things I'm like, I kinda sorta remember this, but not fully. Okay, this was the Jiggy Ledge, and then it's underneath here? It's right below this part? Okay. I don't really want to be in the water again, but I think we have to. We're gonna get bit. We're gonna get eaten. Oh, I don't see it. Leave me alone! Dive! I think- oh, I think we can swim faster if we're underwater. I don't know. We missed it. Go, go, go! No, no, no! Don't turn around! You, like, turn around to- turned around to take a breath. Swim around the ledge to where you see the crab again now. Alright, well, it's somewhere over here. Oh, we should get some honeycombs before I jump back in the water. Here we go. So happy. I love that the animation changes the more honeycombs you have. Their mouths, like their smiles, get wider and wider. I'll catch you guys later. Got some stuff to finish up around here and hockey to watch soon. Hope the rest of stream is excellent. Thank you, Quinn. Enjoy uh, hockey and the rest of your Monday. It's good to see you as always. You rang? Oh, Ace of Base. I, yeah. I remember Ace of Base. Also, yeah, we rang for you because we said Ace of Base. There it is. Tucked into this corner. All right, we got one. We're still gonna get bit by the shark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. You gotta give me some wiggle room here. You have to, it's the rules that I've just made up. Heh. That was real deep. I would not have caught it if Jen didn't, oh, the, Wait, what? Ace of face. <laughs> if Jen didn't point it out. What did I point out? Also, thank you for redeeming human hoodie Quinn. Now that you're going to watch hockey, I'm gonna take the hood down. Our hair is very crazy now. <laughs> Something like that. Ace of base. Oh, gotcha. Do you have the flag? No flag, no country. Those are the rules that I just made up. Thank you, Ace, for the Eddie Izzard reference. We've got one more honeycomb. Eddie Izzard, you are my people. Yes, welcome, so call. You're one of us. <laughs> Not that you weren't welcome before. You've always been welcome this whole time. But uh, I enjoy old Eddie Izzard stand-up. I know the one routine so well. The dress to kill routine. And that's it. I haven't watched much of him since. I don't, I've, I saw him in, I think, um, what was the Beatles movie? Dress to Kill was iconic, it really was. The, the, the Beatles remake movie with all the music? Well, yeah, I know there's a lot of Be Beatles movie. Not, not Yellow Submarine, the modern one where they made a character named Lucy and... Oh my goodness. I have, I think I have the, um... The soundtrack and I can't even remember. Across the universe, thank you, SoCal. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think yesterday is a movie. 
Help, Yellow Submarine, A Hard Day's Night. I've seen all those. And then Across the Universe wasn't a music video movie. It was like its own separate thing. There's a poll for Cake or Death. <sighs> I'll have the chicken, please. Sorry for anyone in chat who doesn't know the Eddie Izzard references. Um, it's a stand-up routine. It's pretty funny. It's pretty good. Also a throwback to the 2000s era. Like, I think that routine, I think he started it in 2000 or 2001, right? Y2K is coming back in full force today. Yesterday is a movie from like a year ago. Oh, you're right, you're right. I forgot. The guy wakes up in the world where Beatles don't exist and he writes all their songs for memory. Are you afraid to answer this poll? <laughs> I like my women like I like my coffee in a plastic cup. <laughs> so you're saying my choices are or death? <laughs> it's taken over stream. Does anyone know where the last honeycomb is? I'm about to Google it. <laughs> yes, stakes in on it. That we knew we knew there was a reason you fit in here so well. There are many reasons, but one of them is Eddie Izzard. Okay, um, treasure, trove, cove, honeycombs. We're doing the Google. Oh, this is weird. Collectibles in our collectathon. Top of lighthouse. Um, defeat Nipper, at the top of Spiral Tower, use Beak Buster, oh, we did that, the Sand Castle, the large rock arch on the opposite side of the staircase leading to the top arch, oh, we did that. I'm looking, I'm looking. Jinjo's honeycombs. On a box floating between Spiral Tower and Little Lockup Isle. Okay, Spiral Tower and Little Lockup. You're just basking in this. <laughs> Dove, Strove, Grove, good news. We have plenty of cake left since everyone ordered the chicken. <laughs> cake for everyone. What's Spiral Tower? I don't know, we're gonna go this way. Enjoy the music while I puzzle through our last collectible. Here we go. On the other side of this. I don't wanna swim over there again. I'm tired of the shark. Oh, we didn't make it, wonderful. over here and then we get to go to everyone's favorite level Planker's Cavern who's excited for water level for water temple that's spiral tower and it's on a box floating between this and little lockup aisle There are many boxes floating around here. Let's go to this one. Let's figure this out. Okay, let's go over here. That's little lockup aisle over here. So is there a box? Yeah, okay. Not this stupid shark. So many sacrifices to the shark. We did it with help from the guide. <laughs> Cat Cameo. Oh, Cameo. In case you missed the cuteness yesterday, we had a Cat Cameo on stream. We need to talk. You're slipping. You're losing it. It needs to be Cat Cameo. Wait. What was it before? 
It just doesn't render. I'm confused. Okay, but we did it. We did all the collectibles. Let's leave. Have we saved our game yet? We should probably do that, right? After, let's exit the level the normal way to make sure everything registers. I don't think that's a thing. We killed all the enemies, we got all the things. We did good. Not in record time, this was slow. Cat cameo, cat cam meow. Yeah! Make the M lowercase. You might be one pun step ahead of me, but I'll get you one day. <laughs> okay, we did it. Let's save and quit. And then we're gonna go open up um, the next level. We get to see this really grim cutscene on the game over. Man, I think my hair still hasn't recovered from the hood. Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up. I need full power. Yes, your grunty ship transformation soon be complete. It's very morbid that anytime they you decide to quit the game, they're like, oh, you're quitting? Game over. <laughs> you lose. As your punishment, hug. <laughs> and we get to see weirdly sexified grunty. Okay, don't like this. And Mumbo turns on us because Grunty got hot. And they vilify Tootie. Your sister wants a word with you. Such a weird, a weird ending scene, but it's not a game over. In the 90s, we would go be going nuts over this cutscene, like the graphics, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it gives you a game over when you save and quit. But it's not a game over. We didn't die. We haven't died yet. Two hours and 34 minutes and 10 seconds, 22 jigsaws, 200 notes. So far, so good. Can't tell the difference. Of what? Oh, we need to go get the, um, I forgot about the jiggy that we got in the treasure trove area. Hi, new ace. Hello, welcome in. Hello, all of you beautiful people. How's your Monday going? I remember seeing Mario 64 and thinking the grass and clouds looked so real. And the water, don't get me started on the water. Pocket aces, yeah. Speaking of game over, I believe I must leave you pleasant peeps. Have a good rest of Banjo stream. Bye Eric, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you again soon. Have a good rest of your Monday. And Ace, thank you for gifting a sub to Ace. Ace of hearts, also known as new Ace. Welcome back to the human race, courtesy of Ace, the other Ace. Oh wow. <laughs> We're very glad to have you. Enjoy your new badge and your emotes. We're showing off those new Earth badges. Um, where do we have to go in this area? Is it this one? I don't think so. We're gonna go down here anyways. New ace and I am old ace. We we have a newest ace. We only have two aces so far. Oh yeah, these. I remember this. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two, the same color to create a shortcut. Okay. I forgot about the shortcuts. It's more fun walking through the castle or whatever, the lair. We'll be- we'll come back to this room. I just need to get that, um, jiggy. What am 
am I doing? So many camera clicks. We can unlock a lot of music note doors now. Oh. That we couldn't unlock before, I think. Because we have 200 notes. And the first door was only 50, so. Go this way, please. Thank you. Got it. That's three for the lair, the castle, whatever you want to call it. Back through here. Now we get to the point where so we can go swimming through this tunnel. I think that's where we need to go next, but I'm not 100% sure. We can open this door now. Oh, can you can you cooperate? Thanks. Easily 180. <laughs> Now that puzzle is complete, we can feel at peace. <laughs> you missed a golden opportunity. I should have said yes. All right, I'm gonna look away. I think there's something on top of this pipe that we can do also. Okay, yeah. This is where we're supposed to go next, right? But we already unlocked some other cool things. We could skip this level. <laughs> Do we learn any new skills here? You're a pun step ahead of me, but not for long. <laughs> well done. What's going on in here? Do you have to unlock something in here for these steps? Oh, what's this? There we go. But I think the door is closed? Does this do anything? No. That's still locked. We have to turn in our puzzle pieces somewhere. Oh, what's up there? I don't remember this. <gasps> There's another switch over here. Where does this take us? Okay, okay, now I'm vaguely remembering this. It's starting to come back to me. Okay. And we can jump up. Oh, but we haven't learned this skill yet. Just kidding. Isn't there one where you have to learn where you can like grab the ledge and shimmy down the ledge? Yeah, we get to go see Clanker. My German speaking friends told me to bring on the bread puns, but also, alas, they were already brought. <laughs> I remember you. But I don't think, well, is this where we open up the next thing? No, sort of. Where does that go? We have to turn in our jiggies somewhere. There's too many doors, too much to explore. I think let's go back to the main area momentarily. I like her music. And then let's walk up here really quick. Remind, remind myself where this goes. I think this goes up to another big area. Yeah, okay, okay. We don't need to be here yet. And then I want to know where... Excuse me. Fall down here. Oh my goodness. 
this goes. Where does this go? Is this how we get to the thing that unlocks Clanker's Cavern? Oh. No. Oh. We don't have... We're not... What is this? Yeah, yeah. We can't do this yet. We can get a token, though. Exploration time! I know, I'm like constantly going, what is that? Oh yeah, what is that? We can go over here now. I forgot about that. While getting mildly frustrated by the camera in some of these rooms, but that's okay. Could be worse, I suppose. But yeah, we can't, it doesn't even give us the option to unlock this yet. We have to get something that puts the little pedestal on the stump. So we'll come back later. Is there something in this corner? Grunty, no. There was something in this corner. Wait, when you restart your file, we had seven or eight lives, didn't we? And we did save and quit, and now we only have four? Wow. They punished me for saving my game. My gut is telling me it's that underwater tunnel. You're right, you're right. I wasn't ready to go in there yet, but that's where we gotta go. It's linear in the beginning, and then I think later on it starts doing stuff like this to you, where they're like, Remember that one obscure tunnel after the second level? Go all the way back there and then return to this point. Because there's nothing else in the main room we can explore. This is the only path. Yeah, yeah. This is the only path we can, we can look at. Okay, we got this. You have to quit to save? Mm-hmm. It doesn't have the thing that Ocarina of Time has where you can save in the menu. It's just save and quit. And it doesn't have, this isn't the era of autosave. <laughs> I love, I do love Grunty's Lair theme as well when it comes to music. Oh, what's in that tunnel? Can we, can we go through there? Or is it just water? Is there anything in there? I don't remember. Oh well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Swimming. Swimming went well. There's frogs in here. Wait, this is the, um, this is the swamp level. Bubble Gloop Swamp. This isn't our, is this our next level? Why didn't I grab the honeycomb? Because I had full health, I think. It's just HP. Yeah, the solid ones restore health and the hollow ones are the ones we collect. Is this even where we want to go next? I don't remember, but we should have enough jiggies to open up a couple of worlds at the same time. What's under here? Anything? No. Nothing in the corners over here? No. I'm puzzled because we kept talking about Clanker, but is Clanker actually the fourth level? Is the swamp first? Or th third, I mean? Where else haven't we gone? Surely we have enough to fill this in. I'm puzzled. I thought Clanker was next, but it's been a while. I thought Clanker was next too. Let's go, let's go through here once again. Bear with me, bear with me, friends, with this game. Uh, with the bear and bird. Mm -hmm. 
This is definitely the entrance to Clankers in this room. You can tell from the theme that this is not a bubble gloop room. Goodbye. We'll come back. We'll figure this out. Oh, we have to go in here still. We haven't done this yet. Jen and one for the puzzled pun too. Thanks, Ace. <laughs> Hi, Zero. Welcome in. How's it going? Hope you're having a good Monday. Oh, this is another warp. That's not what I was looking for either. And there's a token up there. But that's not what I was looking for either. Oh man. It's not that we're lost, it's that there's too many options of where to go. You're stuck on Click Clock Wood? Hi Weeding, welcome in. We're not, we're not quite there yet. We're a uh, ways away from Click Clock. Getting lost in Banjo happens all the time. It's been years, it's been so long. The cauldron goes to Click Clock Wood, but only if you have both cauldrons at either end. I can't use it as a warp until we unlock the other one. We haven't gotten far enough. Um... This room. What else can we do? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. This was where I needed to go back to. Okay, I forgot that this was here. I thought we unlocked everything in this room, but we didn't yet. Now we can go to Clanker, Clanker's Cavern. If you want to place all your pictures, just press Z. We did it! <laughs> you got my game secondhand. Nice. I hope you're enjoying it. Now we can go through that tunnel. Easy peasy. That makes sense since it's from one of those, uh, whatchamacallit pads. Spring pads. It was next. Yeah, I just missed that little platform. I got too excited about opening up doors. <laughs> There's so much to open now. And as a kid, I think I skipped this one or skipped a lot of this one as much as I could. I didn't love Clankers compared to the other levels. Game three, the person is battling the witch. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay, do we have to hit this switch again? No. Let's go! Get ready for some Clankers music. We've got... Oh, we've got a good chunk of stream still left. We can, we can see how far we get. Just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. Welcome to the water level. Uh, dive right in. Yeah, I don't remember a lot about this one, but that's okay. Lots of crabs. And dirty looking pipes. <laughs> After Click Clock Wood, two showdowns that I know so far. Huh. Um, ta oof, Derek, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Oh yeah, these, these slugs. Oh, and we rolled off. <laughs> Let's try that again. The pipes, yeah, those guys are scary. It's almost like a jump scare moment when they come out of there. If you don't know what's coming, I suppose. Yeah, Jen. But we got some health back, so we'll be fine. The squeak when you bop the crab is satisfying. I was thinking that earlier. 
But we got this one already. Just don't roll off the edge, maybe? Maybe use that move instead of rolling. Yes, yes, punch the wall, Banjo. What a good bear. Ooh, gold feathers in this level. Oh, and there's a token over there. Okay. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. <laughs> okay. Everything is fine. <laughs> Pronounced Dow, but Derek is fine. Okay. Oh, Tao, Dow of Derek. Okay, okay, okay. I see it now. Sorry, I messed it up so bad. How, how's your Monday going? Or your day, your time zone. We will... Uh, weeding, thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Let's see if I can not fall off. No. <laughs> what? What works better, this? Yeah. I don't remember what I used to do if I ever had a strategy for these. I think my strategy was avoid at all costs. I need to be around people, yeah. Hang out, hang out, chill, watch some N64 with us. Kazooie and that sassy beak. Had to step away to finish uh, errands for the day. Now I got my coffee and candy. I see you're making good progress. I, I like to think we are, yeah. Quicker than what I remember. Who was saying the other day this game is quick for us to- Oh, I think it was Ibis. Wasn't it? I don't know. A couple people, maybe? That were, uh... Like, yeah, we'll get through Banjo-Kazooie really quick, and I didn't believe them. Because we go so slow. And because I remember this game being massive, but... All things considered, it's an N64 game, so... They're not quite big enough to last us, like, weeks and weeks of streaming. Okay, let's... Um... I guess we just have to start swimming now, yeah? It is the water level, after all. The grimy w water level. I'm not sure what got deleted, but I hope that we can support you, and I see a lot of hugs in chat for you weeding, so you're definitely welcome here. Um, and I hope that this is a, a safe space to hang out. Oh, Clanker, here's our friend. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's rough. That's really rough. It's not easy to go through. Um, oh yeah, this level starts out we're missing all the notes, but we'll get them. With the water being really dirty and we have to clean it? There's like a filter situation? I don't remember how or what. But I think we have to dive down and free Clanker so that it can come up and breathe. Sorry for your loss, absolutely. Um. And there's just a million tunnels and things underwater in this level, but let's try to do this, I suppose. This is the hardest part. Go, Banjo, go! Oh, the music down here is creepy. Wait, I didn't mean to swim through that. Alright, where's our bubble friend? There they are. Why do they get to put a, um, Jinjo down here, too? Oh, no. It's gonna pop! The air bubbles are gonna pop! We're gonna die down here! With the creepy underwater music. No! Alright, there's a reason to hate the swimming and be fearful of all the water levels. Now I understand. There, we got one. We're doing okay. We can do this. We can make it work. 
Sorry if I'm missing chat. We're gonna make this work and swim. Nope, next time. We'll get it next time around. <laughs> and try to follow our fish friends so that we can breathe. Okay, we got a bubble. I think the bubbles replenish two air things or whatever. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. I'm trying, Gloop. I'm trying my best. Oh man. Oh god, we missed it. Okay. This is the worst. There's one. Okay, we got one. We got a bubble. Let's go. Do it again, Banjo. <laughs> the focus. The concentration. Now swim back. It doesn't, it doesn't let you go in a circle at all. I should just be doggy paddling, like little kicks. It's so slow going. Come on, bear and bird. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Go through the bubble. Oh, I pressed B. I definitely pressed B. That's all right, that's all right. We still got it. So many laps. Oh, okay. No, that one was a failure. Now what? They don't let you use any of your fun camera tricks down here. They're like, see ya, you're on your own. No camera readjusting. Okay, we got it. Now we can try to get the notes and the Jinjo. Bear's alt account. Oh, bear and bird. Swimming and flying. Yeah, exactly. Almost stressful as Sonic underwater. Whew, we still got work to do underwater, but we got the important part. We freed Clanker. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. I kind of just want to skedaddle out of this area. This is no bueno. Like, we gotta get these notes, but man. Where's our bubble friend? No! Oh no. Okay. This is fine. No, we went right past it! Oh god, we're gonna die. We're absolutely gonna die. Do we have to free Clanker again if we die? I can't see. There we go. I kind of want to get one more bubble and then swim to the top and just go explore not in the water for a little bit. Okay, let's go. Let's skedaddle. We'll come back, maybe. <laughs> it's crazy that... Oh man, I don't know. This is, yeah, this is our water level here. And it's pretty bad. It's pretty rough. I think they're a collectible... I don't remember what they say when you first find a note. Huh? Yeah, they're definitely a collectible. We just... I don't want to be underwater for that long, but we'll go back and get them. Yeah, they open doors. Okay. Let's go get our Jiggy. They give you all these camera tricks when you're not swimming, but when you're underwater, they're like, nah. No C button, no R button. No camera tricks allowed. Are you gonna let me climb up here? Yeah. The squeaking. Oh, you know what level I just remembered that I had forgotten about? Rusty Bucket Bay? I think I was confusing Clanker's music with that music. Both are so good, but I think I like Rusty Bucket Bay music better than this one. Sometimes I can't word. Can we get that? There we go. Go, uh huh? Bzz, the clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help clanker. Okay. We'll help you, buddy. You big, beautiful, robotic shark. 
Is there something at the top of this tail? I feel like I remember there being something up here. Oh. There's a jiggy over there, but it's closed. Can I stand on this? Yeah. Oh god. Well, that was fun. Clanker's Cavern used to be my least favorite level. I don't remember why. It looks cool as heck now. It's just really hard to swim. That's why. You need to collect every music note to unlock doors at the very end of the game that supercharge your feather. Oh, I do remember that rank. You're right, you're right. I don't think there's lore to them with Jinjos being trapped. I don't think so. Teether from eating too much garbage me feels personally called out. Called out. Just ate an entire mamba, so what's a mamba? Yeah. Okay. Um... We can go grab some music notes, I think. I'm lifting a lifesaver into my mouth. All I can think of are snakes. Oh, it's like a starburst? That sounds really good. I don't think we can this get this yet, right? We could, um... Oh, no, that did work. I was thinking we could fly and use... There's like a beak move when you're flying, but that might be Tui instead of... Uh, Kazooie. Like, why is me out here eating poisonous reptiles? Oh, black mamba snakes? Yeah. <laughs> Very different from the candy. Are you looking for hints while you play? Uh, I'm asking a lot of questions. So when I ask you, you can answer those questions. Um, but until I ask for them, try not to give hints unprompted. Yeah, we got it. But I've, I've been taking a lot of help and hints. Um, I just I just ask that you wait until I'm lost to help me out. And I'll, I'll make it clear that I'm ready. But it's been pretty interactive today. We don't normally do that. Um, but it's helped us get through the levels quicker. And it's enjoyable for everybody else who loves this game too. So I don't mind it. If it were my first playthrough of this game, it would be a little bit different. Jen only wants notes in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you for asking. Um, we do normally use a safe word for blind playthroughs. However, this is not a blind playthrough. We're, we'll make it work. We're just going, we're doing the perimeter right now. I'm gonna get some stuff on top of these pipes and then we'll go back to Clanker to clean Clanker's teeth. Clean Clanker's shoppers. That's fun. Oh. This is a skill I haven't mastered yet. We have to hop out and then feather over and flap over for a ton of these. How many of these windows are there? Is there a jiggy at the end of this? We need another command for something in between. I know, I know. You're right. Redeem me. <laughs> in pain, rolling? What? What do you mean, weeding? Um... Okay. Oh, jeez, I missed it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Saw that coming. Oh, I think we shoot eggs at your teeth to help you with your cavities. <laughs> That's not doing it at all. Oh, we have to wait until it comes above the water. Toothache, this side gone, clanker swallowed, reward. Oh. Oh, 
Okie doke, I'm gonna head out. Enjoy, Jen. Toodles chat and enjoy the rest of your Monday, May. Thanks for hanging out. It's good to see ya. Okay. Now we get this side. Oh, it's about to go underwater. Nope, we missed it. That's fine. Just spam it with eggs. There we go. Uh, this toothache, not hurt now. Teeth all better. Thank you, bear. Can we swim in this way? Yes. Oh, we have to go through the other side to get the jiggy, so let's do that first. Hi, Clanker. You're pretty cool looking. Maybe a little scary, but like a spoopy, cute scary. With those big teeth and those big eyes. That's three. All right, now we're inside the belly. Oh, nope, okay. <laughs> He didn't seem to mind me doing that and his insides, I feel a little bad. I think in Tui there's a dinosaur that swallows you and it makes comments whenever you do stuff like that. Hi Holly, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. On several occasions has walked 15 miles barefoot in the snow. Oh, May has on several occasions walked 15 miles barefoot in the snow uphill, both carrying an exercise bike over her shoulder, all while saving orphans from a fiery school bus. That's the legend of May. <laughs> it is. It looks like caviar on the walls. You missed the whooper emo emote, yeah. Whooper is now a exclusive tier two. And then you can use it on Ace's channel. If you're over there, it's a BTTV special. But I do miss the whoop. Is that all we do in here? Is this just an exit? What's over here? Nothing. Oh, I forgot about this part. There's tentacles. <laughs> Ugh. We're gonna get smacked. Okay, oh no. Oh god, it's already going poorly. Just swim along this side. Everything will be fine. We did it! Now we have to go through some hoops? Is this timed? <laughs> Maybe? Probably? For now, it'll be moving around. Oh, the emotes? Yeah, it's timed. Of course it's timed. Why would it not be timed? What, they're in order? You have to go through them in order, okay. Oh, I forgot about the R thing. Who gave us that tip earlier and I wasn't using it? I feel bad. The green one's over here. This is horrendous. Who created this game? <laughs> We have to go back to the underwater part and use R. We can do this. Don't get smacked. Yeah, 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 we got it. Oh shoot, it wasn't green. We didn't get it. Where's the last green one? Oh, there was like three more hoops, Never mind. Wow, the failure music in this game is so intense. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. They really let you know that you lost that minigame. Yeah, there's no doubt. Okay, but we're gonna do better this time. Watch these cool moves. It was right above us, okay. 
Through the hoop. Under the water. Oop. Don't get hit by the thing! No! No, 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 no. Okay, that's alright. And then there's like one right here above us, I think. Two up here. Oh, damn it. No, we could have had that. It's gonna do the failed music again. Third time, third try. The Debbie Downer music, exactly. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we can do this. Wi-Fi is cutting in and out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hate when there's Wi-Fi issues. Third time's a charm. Yeah, this will be it. Hopefully. We can do it. If I stay away from this thing, we did good avoiding it the first time. And then up here. Oh, come on, come on. This is where we got smacked before, so I'm gonna not get smacked. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Perfect, okay, now up here. And we have to double jump. There we go, we got this. Go Jed, go. Yay, victory. <laughs> Oh, and it's a water temple, so now they're making the water level rise. Of course they are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we got it. Um, that's four. Now we can get the music notes in here. And... Skedaddle go back outside. Oh, the music notes are in the bottom. Some of them are in the bottom and some of them are on the sides. Who was talking about the gentle difficulty increase in this game earlier? I really feel that. With clankers, you're like, all right, this game is starting to get a bit harder. We're ramping it up. We're ramping it up now. But this is also the most hated level. The least liked, most hated level. Everything Zelda in the end. I'm back with a full belly and coffee. I like that shark dude, it's chomp, it's cute. Um, his name's Clanker. We like Clanker too. Loki, you know the rules. What did you eat? <laughs> also, I've got some decaf coffee too, so cheers. Yeah, Clanker. And, um... This is Clanker's cavern. This whole level revolves around him and his well-being. Oh, you can fly around in this room? Why would we want to do that? To fly out that way. Oh. Clever. I'm avoiding swimming some more. We still need to swim. Uh, down here. We need this music note. Is this a tunnel or just one music note by itself? Please be just one music note by itself. It's a tunnel. <laughs> Dang it. Now I can't see. No. <laughs> Banjo, you're swimming into a wall. I don't want to go out any tunnels. I want to stay in this room for longer. Well, I want to use the, um, the flight pad to exit, right? Half a frozen supreme pizza? That sounds really good. Thawing Roman holiday. Cheers decaf here as well. Nice. Yes, cheers to you too, Dao. I really wanted tea earlier, but I couldn't find any tea that was decaf, but I had decaf coffee. Well, I had, I have chamom chamomile, like sleepy time tea, and I didn't want to drink that. Leftovers from last night, so I put it in the oven, uh, and it got that nice crunchy crust. We love a crunchy crust. Crossed. <laughs> 
Bears really aren't meant to be diving like this. They aren't. You hate this more than Jabu Jabu's stomach, yeah. My phone hates me, it's downloading updates and I didn't tell it to. Oh, I hate when that happens. You need to ask permission for updates. I suppose we'll dive down here. Skillfully. <laughs> okay, Jen. Get the- no, get the dang music note! It's not worth it for us to swim if we don't get all the collectibles. Because I don't want to have to repeat any of the swimming. Precision! Where does this go? Oh, this is an exit. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can go back in there and use the flight pad. Can we just hop in like this? Yeah, fun. I don't remember that. That's not too bad if we were to have to repeat those music notes then. I was thinking it would be worse. Can't get enough sleepy time tea. You like sleepy time tea also? Now that's just cold. <laughs> I have four boxes. Possibly even more than some of the dungeons from uh, Dot Hack IMOQ games? Okay, let's go this way. Up and out! Up and out! Wait, I thought I could fly out of here! What the heck? I'm wasting so many feathers. Can I- is this not an exit? I'm confused. I assume this was an exit. Oh, it might be blocked still? I'm supposed to get some storms, but there's nothing on the radar. Interesting. It's a game series. Infection, mutation, outbreak, quarantine. I've never heard of that. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about that before. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Maybe we're just supposed to go to this other side? But this is where we came in before? Does it let us keep flying? No. Oh my god, what is this room? Excuse you, Clanker? Oh, okay, we learn- oh, I know what this is. I forgot about the invinci invinci invincibility golden feathers. PS2 only, it gets a little repetitive. Interesting. Um, we're learning gold feathers. You can carry only 10 of these. Take these five. I think we had 10 already. We had eight. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. Thanks, bottles. Enjoy your beanbag chair. Yeah, definitely. Um, Weeding, we were talking about it earlier, but I think you might have missed it. Just please try to wait to give hints until I ask for them, because um, there'll be plenty of opportunity for you to help when I'm asking, but otherwise let me give it a try on my own first. Um, yeah, we just do this, right? This is terrifying, even though we're invincible. We did it! Da -da, da -da. There's nothing on the sides of this room. They're not that evil. Yeah. Starting to get a headache, but I'm, I'm ignore it. Okay. I hope it feels better, CG. I enjoy that music. I wish we had endless gold feathers. Part of a learning disability, that's okay. We will um, just try to remind you if you forget and uh, let you know 
if I want hints or not. The pressure changes if there's a storm coming in. Oh, that might be part of it, CG, yeah. Okay. Um, do we need to do anything else in here? I don't think so. For now. We can go out this way again, I guess. The burping noise is a little much. It gets old after a little bit. The constant, like, clanker is burping. Clanker's organs are burping. Drink nothing but water all weekend, because holy crap, it's warm out. Yeah. We have closed captions. Oh, true. Yeah, of course. I try to be patient, especially since you're letting us know what's going on, and we're here to have fun. I don't have no backseating on at the moment, so... We are, uh, using community help for this game today. But sometimes I just need you to wait a little bit before you chime in. Now we have so many things we could do. Okay, let's go back on the top of Clanker. Is there something we do with this? I can't remember. Oh. Oh. No, we were supposed to, I think, ride it. Oh. Okay. I think you can sit on top of that little cap and it goes up in the air somewhere. You'd burp too if you had all that metal in your mouth, yeah. It's like the submarine in Mario. Uh, forgive me, for I do not think I know that reference. These are moving a bit slower. And we only have a few feathers left. Oh, but I want to use them. I don't know how else to do that section without the feathers. I'm sure there's a way, but we're just going to use the feathers. If your main sustenance was Grunty's garbage. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And now we're back here. I keep looking around. I'm a little puzzled. Let's go this way. This was where that music note was. Oh, I don't think we exited this way yet. Is this, what's down here? Is there something below me? Is that a Jinjo? This looks so tricky to get out of. Oh my god, why would you put that there? Oh, curses. Okay, I forgot I could use R. R saved me for that tight corner. Thank goodness. Otherwise we would have died. Flops over after having eaten too much. We got it! That was thanks to a, a hint from chat earlier, so we did it. A helpful tip for swimming in this game. I'm going to share that with our friend uh, Melatonin later. Because I did not know that existed until today. And they, the game doesn't tell you in the tutorial. Okay, excuse me, come back. I need to ride you up to whatever platform that is that this takes us to. A very narrow ledge and a jiggy. My good friend Smelatonin. This is one of those painfully slow ledges, so we're just gonna take our time. And enjoy the music and the scenery. <laughs> tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. And go. Uh -huh. 
We're doing good. We're making good progress in this. Clankers. We're acing it. Although we're not doing good with the notes. Oh, we've got 66 music notes. We're doing okay. BRB again. Pup needs out. He's supposed to wait until Tommy settles. Oh well, gotta go when you gotta go. Yeah. Come on, pup. <laughs> Just a little longer. Pup's gonna pup. You forgot about the Malatow Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> That's such a weird... Text-to-speech is so strange sometimes. Oh, there's some platforms over there. There's so much to do in this room. Let's look around. There's platforms over there. There's a token. We... Oh, that was a life and a music note that we didn't get. We attempted earlier and failed. Well, we got, like, halfway through. Um... <laughs> That's all I can see from here. Should we just jump down then? Yeah. Into the water. And then there's tons of things underwater that we need to do. There's some tunnels and shenanigans under us that we need to con contend with. Lift us up. Woohoo! Oh, that's not what I meant to press. Okay, that's fine. And lift us up into the jaws of death. Where does this take us? Is this a sideways one? Onto that pipe, perhaps? Can we grab that midair? Heck yes, we can. Oh, I hear a Jinjo. I think it's over here, though. We'll go back and do it again, and we'll go to the other side. Can we go down in that pipe, too? I have so many areas I want to explore. I can't get to them fast enough. Walk back up. Can we ground pound or beak buster this or whatever the move is called? Yeah. Oh, a bunch of eggs. Cool. That was fun. I think we got all the notes up there. The pipe things remind you of the frogs in Kirby 64. Oh yeah, they look a lot like those. You have 94 for Clanker's Cavern? We're trying to get all 100 of the notes. We'll see if we can do it on this stream. We're getting... I th I think we can do it. We'll go a little bit long. A, lo a little bit longer than four hours. Back with uh, bunless hot dogs. Nice. Welcome back, Copper. I'm starting to get hungry, though. So we'll try to go quick with the music notes and then um, we'll get ready to rap stream after that. Why did I come over here? Oh, because there's a pipe I can climb. I don't think there's anything directly above us. No. Over here, please. Grab the notes. There's not a mumbo in this level either, I don't think. The next one is in, um... Bubble Gloop Swamp. And we become an alligator, I think? Did we get everything on the other side? Grab the pipe. Go this way. Go this way. Grab- oh, that was close. We almost didn't make it. That's okay. I can't remember if there's something I didn't get- oh, don't- don't fall down there. <laughs> oh, this thing. Yeah, we didn't get whatever is in here. Oh, sh shoot! It's too steep. Go back! 
Go back one more time, Banjo. You got this. It's fine. Up the pipe. Jump over to the left. Don't fall in this thing, if you can help it. Now we need these powers. I don't even think we have to go down there. We just have to float with our feathery move. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> I jinxed it. Uh, I, my brain is turning to mush and mushing your username together. Detonando, welcome in. Oh yeah, we're trying to go hintless. Um, I'll, I'll ask if I need help, but yeah, I need to use Kazooie's legs. I was gonna do that and then I decided not to and I regret it now. BRB, okay, sounds good, weeding. But yeah, welcome in. Thanks, I think you're, I, I'm, I understand, you're just trying to help. It's all good. My brain is also mush. Thank you, country girl, for redeeming human hydrate. I appreciate it. I'm gonna mix some water in there with our, uh, with our decaf coffee. Third, third, third time's a charm again. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay if we fall in there. We can get out. This is the part you can't undo once you go down the slide. She can jump pretty far. Nice. I didn't even know what it was we were aiming for. Uh, let's look at totals for honeycombs. There's two in here. I don't think we've seen the other one. 25 more notes. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna get all 100? What else do I need to do in this level right now? Well, I know there's some underwater. Let's, let's, uh... Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We got it that time. Let's do some dreaded swimming, because there's so much we haven't done underwater yet. We have to go through these awful pipes. For not even music notes. Okay, all right, we're failing. Is there... And there's not a bubble friend in this area. There's only a bubble friend at the very bottom. What is some of these... Are some of these pipes to another area? Or just this one? Oh, come on. Oh! Oh! Jen, what are you doing? Okay, I vaguely remember this. I had plenty of breath to go back and get him, but we'll do it again. And we're gonna use R. We're gonna remember to use R. Ivis, welcome back. The other one is inside one of the pipes near Clanker. Okay, now you know the power of R. You're right, but I messed it up. But we'll do it again. You're talking about the other honeycomb, right? Uh, should I call you Detonando? Is there something else uh, shorter you'd like me to call you? Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. The power of R. And back to the top. Because we like to breathe. Can I see all the little pipes here? Is there just the two? For that pathway? I think so. Oh, there's another one down here. Where does this one go? Thank you for the warm welcome back. We're glad to see you back in time to see some more of stream. We are gonna go a little longer today because I wanna get the rest of the music notes before we end, because if I don't, it resets the level. No, this is the same path, oopsies. 
Um, it resets the level every time you quit the game, so we're gonna try to get a hundred notes. I went in the one on the far end, right? What? Am I crazy? I'm just going in circles. Didn't we go in that one over there? I don't know what's going on. There's too many tunnels underwater. All right, let's go try to get the honeycomb. It's on the other side. Uh. Oh, there's notes in here. Good, good, good. Oh, come on. No! <sighs> Once you get... Okay, let's do R. But now I can't see. Oh well, we got it. We're gonna die. Up! Go up! Go up! No, we're stuck under the pipe! No, we would have had it! Oh my god, that was so close. I was like, <laughs> cringing. Uh, Dr. Dorkface, hi, welcome in. How's it going? We should have died, but we didn't. It's okay, we made it. You're holding your breath, I think I was too. We got stuck on the pipe. Um, this looks like the pipe with the honeycomb right here with the grate in front of it. Oh, I didn't even mean to dive. The fin forced me under. All right, let's maybe not start from a million feet away. Let's start like right on top of it. We hate swimming in this game. This pipe, yeah. Ace, we meet again. Do you know Ace? That made me so nervous I thought it was over. If you get a game over, that resets your notes, doesn't it? BRB, okay, sounds good. Dorkface is your friend? Well, any friend of Ace's is a friend of mine. Welcome in. Your buds, nice. We're glad to have you. Thanks for stopping by. This pipe looks very scary. I don't want to reset our progress. And they don't give you any cool underwater moves in this game like they do in, oh frick. Like they do in, um, there's no way. In Tui. Why, why would you make it so we can't see from behind ourselves and we have to do all the inputs backwards? This game probably explains why I was able to do freaking, um, RC cars in Mario Odyssey because it's like the backwards controller logic with the camera on the weird side. One of your IRL friends with the same names? Oh, got it. Okay, cool. It resets notes due to Grunty's magic. Ugh. All right, well, there weren't any music notes in there, so forget, forget Jiggies and empty honeycombs for now. Forget them. They don't exist. We only want music notes. You couldn't do that for life. Yeah, you have to do all your inputs backwards because the camera is in front of Banjo. You're coming this way now. Also, I'm getting really warm in this sweater. <laughs> I kind of forgot, this was ages ago. This was a channel point redemption. I left some at the bottom of Clanker's chain. You're right, you're right, I did. I don't know how many, but we should go grab them. That part's not as hard as the narrow tunnels. And we're at 82 now. We're closer. And I know there's one up on that ledge earlier where we fell off. Okay, go, go, go. Go, Banjo, go. This is so rough, I hate this. At least there's air bubbles down here though. Oh God, I can't see. Delicately swimming. Ever so gently. Oh, did we get the Jinjo down here? I think we did. No, we didn't. It's our last Jinjo down here. Doesn't matter, it's not a music note. Oh god, we need this bubble. 
Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Okay, oh, it popped right as we went into it. Frick. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna be fine. Oh, we missed that one. Let's go get our bubble. Okay. Maybe get another bubble. We're stuck. I think we're okay. This is so stressful. We don't play stressful games on this channel. <laughs> this is supposed to be a peaceful, nostalgic revisit. How many is that? 86? Did we get them all? We've still got two sounds left, Ivis, that we haven't un unlocked yet. One more? I think so. I think we missed one. Okay, we can use R. Go get that bubble. Okay, don't blow it. Just use A to doggy paddle. Bear cub paddle, whatever you want to call it. I think that's it. We should get the Jinjo, but I don't want to. Oh no, there's one over there. Frick. Frick, I can't see! <sighs> okay. God, why is this so hard? Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Forget it. I think we got all the notes. Forget Jinjos. They don't exist. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's so stressful. And they make that, like, high-pitched noise down there. And everything intensifies. I know, as he's saying, help! Two from a game, one that you just wanted to make. Oh, the sound alerts. No, there's only... Oh, we do have three left. I thought we had two left. Boop would be a fun one, but that's not one of them. Eighty-eight. That's a very good number. Um, soon to be eighty-nine, because we know one of them up on the ledge. But man, it's still not a hundred. I think there might still be some in the main room when we first come in. Do we need this? Sure. Eighty-nine. Nice plus twenty. <laughs> I wish Boop was one. Have we said Boop on stream for some of our games? Has it come up in a game? I'm not sure. I have now. <laughs> meow would be fun. We should get like a clip of one of the cats meowing and try to make it into a, a sound alert, if that's even possible, if we could get a high quality meow from Duncan or BB. 89. Oh, why did the camera do that? Is this something underneath us? Is this a grate we're supposed to bop with our beak? Just bring the mic to the door and call the cats. Oh, that would be so cruel. They would hear me and be like, oh, are you letting us in? Are we allowed to come in? Okay, I, this looks like, this wall looks like something we can bust open with our beak. Am I crazy for thinking that? Oh wow. No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Fall damage is fine. It was worth it. Um, where else have we not been in this room? In front of, no, we come in in front of Clanker. That's the entrance. So what's in the, is there a pipe at the very back? This green pipe, what's over here? And is it scary? Catbook sassing you? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, Catbug, we love you. All right. Wish me luck. Is this pipe scary? I don't know. We're about to find out. It's very green. I like green. Oh, it's not scary. Oh, and there's music notes in here. 
Oh, I remember this. Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us. You must. Gotcha. Oh. The music in here is fun. Oh, hi. Hello. 95? 96? 97? Oh, I accidentally canceled out of that dialogue, but we got the, uh, the jiggy. Wrecked. <laughs> I think there are a few outside of the level two. Of these crabs? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the lighting in here sucks. Oh, we have to jump up over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notes? Oh, you mean... Um... In the main area? We can't exit the level. Man, the only ones left are the one in the scary pipe and the jiggy one. But I think those are worth it to just wait and do, like, at the end of the level in case you die so that you don't uh you don't risk all your notes who has time for talking when there are sewers to explore yeah you get it <laughs> let's go back to um the entrance to the level we can't exit the level, that'll reset the notes. Refuses to save last, and Joe takes time to murder crabs! All right, but we got music notes from that room. That's true though, Rinks, I'm sorry. Turismo, thank you for the host, how's it going? By the way, be warned, Dorkface is punnier than I. Oh, interesting, okay. Thank you for the warning. We do love puns around here, but sometimes it gets out of control. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm tired. I bet it's late for you. I hope you had an excellent Monday. Now Tuesday. She puts me to shame when it comes to wit. Oh yeah. Well, I can't wait to witness it. Witness it. You're welcome. It's at least a tie. Charisma, thank you for redeeming human kindness. I appreciate it. Sending human kindness from me. To you, I'm thinking of you. I appreciate you. I'm glad that you're here, hanging out with us at the very early hours of your Tuesday. And um, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in, friend. I was, uh, I feel like I was just talking about that the other day. It's like, Turismo loves the human kindness redemption. And I, and I enjoy when you use them. This is our entrance, right? This one right here. Yeah. I don't want to just go diving into pipes willy-nilly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, I forgot we missed these! Okay, okay, we'll come back. Let's survive first. These are our last three, though. <gasps> Why am I so bad at swimming? I forgot to use R. That's it. Those were our- those were our notes. We can get them later, yeah. That was me. <laughs> and now we're reliving it. Okay, focus. Doggy paddle kicks. <gasps> 99? More doggy paddle kicks. They make this pipe so bumpy. Why can't they just have it be a straight shot? Oh, we got him! Hi for a hundred notes, thank goodness. We did it. Famous last words. <laughs> Thanks for the hype and the love and the dance and the joy. All the human emotions. <laughs> All right, now that we got our notes, let's go get the Jinjo and attempt to get that last Jiggy because, oh, and we still didn't get the honeycomb. I'm sorry that we skipped the honeycomb. I know um, that you all were trying to point it out to me, but I wanted to focus on the notes first. 
How are y'all today? Doing good, Turismo. Having fun with this game. I wasn't sure how it would go um, revisiting because when we revisited Paper Mario, it was fun at first, but then it just started to feel like, yeah, yeah, I've played this before. But um, this one's been really enjoyable and it doesn't have turn-based fighting. So that was, I was losing my patience with the turn-based fighting in um, Paper Mario. Witness me. <laughs> Uh, is it getting getting jiggy with it time? It is. Na 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 na. All right. I don't want to go swim again, but we have to. We must. I wish I knew. Oh, oh, hi. Which side it was on before diving down? Maybe we'll be able to tell. Oh, I I think that little pipe is the pipe we need. The small pipe. Man, how many bubbles does it take just to get down here in the first place? All right, Jinjo. Make yourself known. Scream a little yelp. Of course, it's on the other side from us. We're just gonna, oh, it's right there. We're just gonna go carefully and expertly. And there's our Jiggy, and now we're gonna get out of here. Excuse me, please. Don't make us drown while we watch the Jinjo animation. Go, go, Banjo, go. Swim back up for air once again. You can do it. You got this. We made it. Um... There's a small pipe. I think it's closer to Clanker's nose. This little pipe over here. Not the ones on the sides, but this this one. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna try that one and see if there's a an empty honeycomb. Cause then we can like wrap up this level with a nice bow and tie it in a bow. <laughs> You know. <laughs> oh, I don't think this is the pipe I was thinking of. There was one that had, I thought, red feathers in it. Yeah. Where's the other small pipe? Over here. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm confusion. Did we go through these big pipes? Oh, these big pipes are scary. Look how long that is. Look how long I have to hold my breath. There was... Yeah, that was the red feather pipe. And now is this long tricky one? The honeycomb pipe, I'm assuming. I thought we went through this one. I thought this was the one that nearly killed us. Which is frustrating because it's just a straight shot. I think there were all music notes in here. Yeah, that was fine. Now go back up. Under Clanker's belly. Pipe in the wall. Probably one of the annoying passage pipes that got me confused. <sighs> okay, let's, let's try to be methodical. <laughs> Let's go to the tail and start with that one and go clockwise. So there's the tail, the tail pipe, haha. And then have we done this one yet? Is this the tricky, scary one? I don't know, Ooh, we went the wrong way kind of, that's fine. Oops, oops. I think this is the tricky, scary one. Can we do it? Can we do it? No, don't go up the wall. Go stay on the bottom. Ugh. Why? Why are you coasting up the wall? 
Bianco. Such an idiot. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. I don't even know where I am. Or like I'm trying to hit controls and it's not bringing us back out. Oh, I'm so sorry. What a failed attempt. <sighs> he kept glitching into the wall and climbing up the wall instead of staying on the bottom. This is awful. Goodbye, Banjo. We got our hundred notes. Oh, we survived. <laughs> How? Um, we did get all the Jinjos and music. We did. This is our last Jiggy. You have more time than you think, apparently. <laughs> I hate this pipe. Pressing R doesn't help because the camera isn't behind you. When you press R, it like spins you really fast relative to you being behind Banjo. Holy cannoli. Who else was holding their breath that time? <laughs> Thanks, Ace. Um, and it helps you if, if the camera's behind you, but in that one, the camera's in front of you and it's super annoying. All right, come on. Come on, Jen. I think you can go through the first bit of pipe using B, and then when you get closer, you have to use A, because you start traveling up the wall here. Like that. So much wasted energy going up the wall. Okay, now this part. Got it. Now go back. Oh my god. I can't get him to spin around. Come this way, friend. Come to the light. Oh god. There we go. Now it's opposite direction. Too much control. Only input as much as you need. Don't over input, which is still what I'm doing, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna survive. We got all the jiggies, all the notes. And we're still short one honeycomb. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thanks for the hype. I did it! <laughs> we managed. It didn't look pretty, but we did it. It's so frustrating. He goes into that grate and his nose is like sticking through the grate on the wrong side. All right. So we were being methodical. That's the scary pipe. Then there's no pipe until the grate that had the jiggy. And then there's no more pipes on that side. And that, that side is also the side that had the really long um, tube that we swam through for all the music notes. So then on this side, I kept getting stuck. So this is this is the entrance pipe. I said I was going clockwise and I think, no, I think we we're still going clockwise. And then there's one, two, three, three, maybe four. No, it looks like just three. So two of these connect and I don't know which ones. So we'll go, we'll go number one, and then we can return to this point. But I think we've done this before. I was being methodical, now it's time to throw caution to the wind. If you just run out of air and you have everything, it's all good, because then you'll be near the beginning of the entrance. Oh, it's a speedrun strat. That makes sense. Um, but we've only got the one honeycomb left, so we're gonna grab it, and then we're gonna end stream after that. More like flush caution down the pipes. <laughs> Welcome in, Dorkface. <laughs> I know we already welcomed you, but I approve. Oh, this is just a token. Okay, so then the other pipe we did is the one that connects. I don't think it gives you the totem, the tokens in your totals, does it? It gives you like 17 currently, but it doesn't say per level, no. She fits right in. I'm gonna have a nice bruise on your knee. Oh no. Smacked in the corner of a table. I'm sorry, that's the worst. I hate that. And it always startles me when I hit something, my own furniture. Like why? 
Why are you standing in my way? But it's a piece of furniture. Always frustrating. Okay, so now we've got one pipe left that we haven't searched. And I kept overlooking it. I think it's this, like, medium-sized one over here, maybe? Against the wall? Let me see up for a minute. That one? Yeah, I think that's it. At least for pipes in this room? Because we did we did that um, long one a couple of times. And I'm pretty sure this one connects to that one over there. Or no. Those two connect. You know what I mean. We did it a couple times. We are going for the honeycombs, yes. Who put you here? Mobile Twitch, the endless problems continue. Oh man, Copper, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mobile Twitch is a butt. I was using Mobile Twitch a lot during the move, and it just puts you on such a delay and does weird shenanigans. Oh, well, we'll take those, but that wasn't it. Someone earlier was saying it's a pipe in the wall that has, or a pipe near Clanker that has the honeycomb. Um, but I'm not sure, now that we've looked at a bunch of these pipes, I'm not sure which pipe. Um, Dow, do you know where it is? Is it in the chains or something? No? Looking up at the wall. Or maybe go back to the entrance. Is it high up? We went, yeah, we went on the, I don't know, that ledge up there. And we've been to the other side. Have we been up there? Yeah, yeah, we went up there and flew. No, what was up there? Maybe we didn't do that yet? There was a jiggy in the wall over there. So we did that. We walked up this. What is the, is that a pipe by Clanker's tail? Have we walked on that ledge? I think we did. Because I think we fell from up here after we got the jiggy and got whatever was on that ledge. Slowly, carefully. Oh, there's only feathers up here. There's not a flight pad. I thought maybe there was a flight pad. You remember where one is? Not sure if that's the one you found. You can go ahead and say, we found, um... Shoot, I don't even remember where we found it. <laughs> Oh, what is this game? It's madness. We also looked up the second honeycomb in Treasure Trove Cove, so I'm not opposed to looking it up online. Knee doesn't hurt as much now, but holy crap, it hurt before. Ugh. I'm sorry, CG. Did you put ice on it? Well, I guess you said it doesn't hurt as much now, but that might help with the bruising. I feel like I remember having to swim through the links in the chain, but I might have made that up. I don't know. I don't know what it is that we're doing down here. Oh, hi. Oh, is there something? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. We found it. I got it. Can I ask if you found the one you were thinking of? I think we just found it. It's under this pipe. This is what they were talking about. Whoever was in here, I don't remember who gave which hints. Because we had a few earlier. We did it! 
What a good ending to this level. I'm so hyped. You can do it. I walked it off while cussing. That's one way to, to uh, help your knee. Yeah, Dow, we got it. Thank you. Thank you for um, trying to help. I think the other one... Where was the other one? I don't even remember. Witness. <laughs> it's all a blur. This level with all the swimming is a blur. But I can't believe we finished it. Thank you, Clanker, for your help and your moral support. Let's go look at our fishy boyfriend. Our fishy friend. Uh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Cute. In a pipe that you break. Yeah, you're right. It was up on a ledge and you had to beak buster, like ground pound, and break a pipe. Oh, Jen. <laughs> yes, Rem? Okay, well. Replaced by a metal fish. I'm <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. Our, our fishy boy. And the fish is our friend. This playthrough has taken an unexpected turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Clanker is cool. We like Clanker. Rusty Metal Shark looks friendly. It is. We helped him out. Um, so we will go ahead and save and quit. I'm pumped that we got... Look at this. Let's look at our total one more time. Heck yeah. It took us an hour and 16 minutes and 30 seconds. Doing good so far. We did it quicker than Treasure Trove Cove. Heck yeah. And then we'll go uh, figure out where we're gonna raid. And I'm getting very hungry. It is time for us to end so I can eat some dinner. Yeah.